Hey there. Hey, if you're here, you're on the right channel. Welcome to Ham Radio. We're going to start shortly. You might want to grab a cold one, grab yourself a little bit of a beverage, and uh, just stick around. I'm sure it's not going to be too long now. <sighs> hey, I'm here too, you know. Do everything that guy says. And we'll be on just shortly. Hey there. Hey, if you're here, you're on the right channel. Welcome to Ham Radio. We're going to start shortly. You might want to grab a cold one, grab yourself a little bit of a beverage, and uh, just stick around. I'm sure it's not going to be too long now. <sighs> hey, I'm here too, you know. Do everything that guy says, and we'll be on just shortly. Hey there. Hey, if you're here, you're on the right channel. Welcome to Ham Radio. We're going to start shortly. You might want to grab a cold one, grab yourself a little bit of a beverage, and uh, just stick around. I'm sure it's not going to be too long now. <sighs> hey, I'm here too, you know. Do everything that guy says, and we'll be on just shortly. <laughs> dark as shit right from here okay you look pretty bright like like you got a tan maybe uh okay i guess it might be monitor hey there welcome welcome to ham radio we're here uh it's saturday daniel unfortunately being the uh co-host of the show means that uh the schedule is also pertaining to his schedule because he has a he has a real job yeah uh, i'm not a youtuber you're not a yeah a pseudo youtuber that makes uh, probably as much as a a low-level mcdonald's manager uh every year <laughs> Uh, so we're here. We're, we're, uh, what are you? What? Oh, I thought you were reaching for something. Uh, we're here on this glorious Saturday. We have a action packed episode of ham radio action packed. And, uh, I immediately realized that I need to stop with this flipping mentality because you handed me this and I told you what it's worth $30. You could flip these. There's people that buy these with this, uh, weird bottle, uh, design on it. Yeah. So I'm thinking Gary V as if I just read the book, crushing it. Like, oh, you could flip that. No, you could just buy buy phones and then flip them. People are yeah. buying phones. Yeah. Like, buy, like, landlines. Yeah. People buy landlines for, well, like, 30 bucks. I bought, bucks. like, three of them the other day. Fucking stupid. Uh, so I'm obviously here at UME Studios, Florida, with uh, the co-host of this fucking godforsaken show, DJ Daniel Dizzle. Uh, What's up, Piggy? An individual that uh, today on the phone was all right. 
And then once you came into my house, you were just you were poking the bear. Uh, first of all, you need to be a well. You are a power bottom, so you could be a bear. Okay. You definitely could be a bear. That's a yeah, but, gay uh, jokes are not tolerated. Let in this me new let era. me just tell you that you are a loved individual. Pussy shot. You are a loved individual. A finger. All right, bro. <laughs> Whose finger are we talking finger about, of, bro? <laughs> of shitty rum. That's the topic that we're going to talk about in a bit. Yeah. You're not, I, I just want to start off by saying that you are a loved individual. Yeah, too much. And uh, you should uh, recognize it. Okay. I'm, I, I'm bothered. That's, that's, uh, that's one of the topics. Uh, so, yeah. So, we have an action-packed episode. We're going to talk about the youth and their terms. We're going to talk about... Uh, that's when you know you're getting old. Yeah, when yeah. You, when well, you say I, the youth, you, when you say the youth, I, 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 I think I've told you before. The moment I realized I was old was when I, I had somebody uh, explain to me what a thought was, right? And I go, yeah. So I had a thought the other day, and they go, <laughs> I'm like, what's so funny? And then they go, <laughs> That's funny. thought means that hoe over there. Oh, it's the hoe over there. I the thought hoe. it was that hot. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so that's, I had, uh, that's when I knew I'm like, okay, so I know that, uh, I have reached, um, a pinnacle of, uh, oldness when I had to have a young term like that. But here's the thing, me being on TikTok so often, I've, uh, acclimated to the youth culture and the terms yeah, of you're hip the, again. I'm not hip because I refuse to use their terms because their terms are terrible and gay. Listen, when I first met you, mm -hmm. all you would do for like the first three hours was that. I have never done a full dab in my entire life. You have, dude. You, I I would look at you and I do half dabs. He was a bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. I do half dabs. I'm like, is he smelling his armpit? What is? That? And then I realized that it's a it's a young thing. It's a young thing. Yeah, yeah. You've I grown think. older since. Then. Oh yeah. You're now old, my dude. The worst part about that is not that you're putting rum. It's the fact you're putting homeless people rum. Well, this is our victory. This was the victory rum that unfortunately we couldn't. Uh, not for anything other than just having a day where, you know, we celebrate things because yeah. that's what we do, yeah. right? There's no reason the right why way. this would have been considered victory rum. Uh, and unfortunately, right now, we, we're drinking it as, um, as, as homeless. A, yeah. <laughs> as, as we're trying to block the pain rum. Because we're out of liquor. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we have an action-packed episode. And uh, first thing, I guess, which is, uh, the, the, I guess, the thing on the show notes is death and resurrection. We I like can't, the Jesus Christ. I can't fucking relax for an hour. Uh, because yesterday, I I forgot what I did. I think I forgot. I, I ate maybe, right? I ate and then I came back. I don't know your life, dude. To the house. I came back to the house. What'd you eat yesterday? I forgot. I came back to the house, and this is the uh, this is the the deal that I wake up to. So my memories, I go, I lie down. All right, it's approximately five o'clock. I lie down, then I hear knocking on my window. I look at the clock. It's six thirty. I hear frantic knocking on my window and knocking on my door, and I'm losing my mind. I'm like, yeah. oh, all right. So I go, I open a door, and it's uh, two goons, right, two of my goon friends uh, going, oh, yeah, both I talking. I would say goon and a half. Both talking, say, dude, I thought you were dead. What's going on? Were you not picking up your phone? You didn't pick up uh, Daniel. We called Daniel. Daniel doesn't know what you're doing. I, I took a nap for an hour. Yeah. And I have these two goons telling me. Yeah. That not not only should I tell people whenever I nap, yeah, just to let them know that I'm napping and I'm not gonna be able to pick up their phone, uh -huh. but also that I uh, napping was a transgression. I shouldn't have napped because I now ruined plans. I don't think you understand the actual problem. What's the problem? That you don't fucking reply to people, bro. I was napping. No, 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 no. Listen, my dude, you have a you have this thing where people will message you, yeah, and you do this. And, yeah. and, and then you know, you know what's step three? What? Ignore for three weeks. That's not the case, all right? If I am doing something, I will not pick up the phone. I've done this with you in the car. When I'm with you, if I get a call from somebody, I go, right now, I'm with Daniel. I do that all the fucking I time. I don't like you that much. If I'm in the car with somebody, yeah. you call me. I'm yeah, like, but I'm not going to pick up that's right different. now. That's different. Because okay. when you're with me, your life is now worth something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Case in point, I can't fucking nap. And I, the most aggravating thing to me is notifications on my phone. I got yeah. fucking triggered right now when you were trying to turn on your fucking camera. And all I heard were error messages yeah. on your fucking laptop. <laughs> and I was about to jump and fucking. <laughs> I can't some. process. I can't so process. I, I, so I look at my phone and it's, it's seven missed calls. Yeah. I get a bunch, a of, bunch of text messages. Yeah, bro. 6.30 is when I woke up. I couldn't nap for fucking an hour and a half without having chaos. And then it's like, oh, by the way, Daniel's coming. And then you roll up and you're like, yo. So I'm losing my fucking mind because I just woke up. 
the window was being knocked, the door was being knocked, and then these guys are screaming that, hey, you should have told you, I mean, you made plans, why didn't you tell people that you were napping? Did I put it in my itinerary that I, well, I was going to fucking nap? Which is a suggestion that I've been told. Now I, I've been told that you I need to You now have nap. to let people know yeah, I what's going on. Well, not only that, but we're also, we, I'll be honest with you, I was like, 72% concerned that you might have offed yourself yesterday. That's what they also said. They're like, yeah, I mean, what, I was afraid that I was going to come through the door and see you hanging. What? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's so the gayest up. way to go out. That's the gayest way to go out. Ah, we can think of gay ways for you, bro. Hung. I don't want to get hung or do that. It's stupid. So, yeah. So, I'm here uh, having to deal with that, that fucking shit. And yeah, then bro. you come in and yeah. you're like, oh, well, that's what we're going to hang. And we hung out after. But the thing is that I thought that you were going to be working. Yeah. I finagled my way out of work. You finagled your way out of yeah. work. So, okay. So, my idea is I'm going to nap. Right? Or I didn't even think I was going to nap. I was just there on the phone. And then I fucking closed you my eyes. You were It's 6.30. And there's knocking on my window. There's never supposed to be knocking on my window. Well. So I come out. And I'm yeah. like, what am I going to find? Because there's no people, obviously, in that door. <laughs> so you got to just deal with it. Whatever's going on, you got to fucking deal with it. Let me tell you, your people is <laughs> behind the wall. Yeah, there's a, a cleverly placed hole that I could kind of. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm just like, okay, shit. Yeah. Just per- yeah. And then I, I'm, I wake up, and then when I open the door, they're both talking to me, telling me shit. I'm like, eh, what? I'm going to kill somebody right yeah. now. Yeah. It was, I I'm fucking a, I'm hate honest, notifications. Really so we have a comment here from RB that says, Pig Kick replied to one of my DMs yesterday. I was surprised. RB, play the lotto. If you guys have lotteries in Australia, play the lotto, bro, because okay. he actually replied to you, bro. I respond to DMs when – or I respond to messages when I, Never. when I see the message, yeah. when I get to it. Or when he's okay. like, eh. Listen, when it comes to, and then, oh, you didn't pick up the phone because I was with, I was with somebody else. Yeah, but what if I, what if I get you hit by. You called me three fucking times. Listen. You called me if, three fucking times. What if, yeah, but there's a, well, it's, it's, it's also kind of weird because sometimes my phone, when I call you, it doesn't ring. It just okay. stays silent. And then if you don't pick up the phone, it just, it just like after like, you know, after like imaginary 15 dials or whatever it is, the, the voicemail comes up. Okay. So it's well, kind of weird. So that's why sometimes I call you more than once. I'm like, did it, did it, you know, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. crazy girl for but, shit. But, 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 I forgot what I was going to say. But. Fuck, what was I going to say? I shit? fucking wake up to seven missed fucking calls. And then the worst thing, the one, the one that I hate, which everybody seems to get perfectly right. Everyone always seems to do this. I'm there. I'm eating shit. You know, it's beating my beat. Right? You know, just. Right? Masturbating? That's a joke. Right? Oh. I, I'm saying I'm like wasting time. Then I'm like, okay, all right, let me set up the video. Let me look this up here. Let me do this. Let me do that. All right, setting up the video. I've got the microphone on. I press record. Hey. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're not going to do it again. That's fine. Uh, so, and it's not just one individual. It's several people. So I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset because you're always shit. upset. It pisses me off because you're I. You're upset I, when people give you love. The shower one is also terrible. When I'm there, I'm listening to something in the shower. I'm like, all right, let me let me listen to some some shit here, and then ring, 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 ring because it stops the fucking music or stops the whatever I'm listening to, whatever yeah. alternative right podcast I'm listening, whatever fucking shit I'm listening to, it stops it and it doesn't keep playing it. So then I have to get with my wet hand. You're not even. I am. So much of anything. What happened? So why are you showing yourself if you're looking at the fucking comments? Because I'm also looking at you. I'm like a lazy. I, I'm no, look, you were I'm, I'm looking at the comments as I'm I was saying some shit. Oh, I don't know you were talking to me. Because you were looking at the comments, Daniel. I don't know. I, Piggy, I don't know you were talking to me, dude. I thought you were talking to the audience. I like share, sharing a story with them. Uh, we need some gain. What the fuck? That's a nice watch. I didn't know they sold them for dudes. All right. Satchel's ripping up the uh, book of old fucking jokes that magicians use back in the fucking... Oh, you sh- show me your hand. No, the clean one. <laughs> Oh, is that a watch? I didn't know they made it in men. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Saturday Night Live. Uh, P- yeah, Ham Radio going big. Going big. That's what we're doing here. We're going as massive as... I post most comments on live streams, so I feel uh, more neglected. Uh, I could see Pig K going from the exact same Michael Hutchins from In Excess Went. I think he uh, uh, sexually asphyxiated himself. Oh, nice. Well, that's that's a thing, dude. That's a thing, dude. Uh, and then what's weird is that my my uh, aunt did the same thing. No, she died of breast cancer. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, slow death. But uh, she uh, she's the one that that uh, my family members would see at Denny's at like two o'clock, two o'clock in the morning with like men. <laughs> she, she, she had a social life. Gross. She was like she fucking, had a social life. That's uh, what that's called, Piggy. A social she, life. Uh, one time, I think she saw something about in excess. 
And she goes, no, 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 that's that's música, esa, eso es demasiado sexy. I'm like, I never want to hear my gross aunt <laughs> that's too sexy. telling me that in excess is sexy. In What's excess. What are you fucking doing? What's that one song from In Excess that's like super famous? Uh, don't ask me what you know is true. See. Don't have to tell you. I love your aching heart. Uh, what the fuck is that? I know they have one that's like, a, I, n- I never liked their main song. Their main song is shit. Uh, but I'm trying to think of what the uh, the second one is. How many titles? The album, the fucking albums. Okay, but you could look up songs. I'm sure the fucking to our readers, please do not scroll past this this Saturday for the first time. Could okay. you fucking put on the most? This is riveting. Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, dude. Just keep it moving, dude. In oh. excess discography. That's what I did, but it gives me the fucking albums, bro. Okay, and then click on the greatest hits. Good idea. Look for the greatest no, let's hits. Just fucking, uh, let's look for the greatest hits. Okay. Where no, are they? Oh, here we go. Ones. I got it. I got the greatest hits. I got the greatest hits. Need You Tonight, says uh, Corn Pop. Mis- and, uh, Mystify? No. Suicide Blonde? No, that's mm-hmm. not it. Taste It? Nope. The Strangest Part? Nope. Are you looking Need at you the tonight? greatest hits? Uh, this, this, oh, this is the UK. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the One Thing? No. Nope. Original Sin? I think that might have been one of the ones. What you, how does it go? I don't know, but okay. I think that might have been one of the... Uh, what You Need? No. No. Uh, Listen Like Thieves? Uh, shine Like like It Does? Need NXS You Tonight? Greatest fucking hits, okay? All right. NXS Greatest Hits, okay? Devil Inside? I'm on the Wikipedia, okay? Let's see okay. how long. Never I'm Tear talking Us about Apart? the song that has... That's the one. I think that's the one that I really like. How does Never it go? Never tear us apart. I just fucking said it. Say it again. I didn't no, hear I you. I was, it. I was, I really I was literally busy. saying it. I was busy fucking Googling, dude. Okay. And I think the one that they, uh, my, my great aunt called uh, sexy is Original Sin. That I we can't play. Let me see that's the one. Australian. Oh, it's an Australian uh, a group. Uh, are they? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, in excess, we're pretty uh, substantial. Uh, but she said they're sexy. Weird. I don't want my aunt. Yeah, they're kind of sexy. Sexualizing that. Uh, Danny looked like Welcome Back Carter, dude. Gave ca- that the that's the the most fucking dated reference I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. Magic Buzz. Uh, but yeah, so yesterday I was very annoyed. I woke up with that shit, and then um, I was more annoyed that Caesar took one of my favorite fucking cigars that I didn't try. Well, one a it cigar looked like that a I really phenomenal cigar. Though. I know, like the way I that know. it was rolled, it looked but like it was like a. Like, let me, me tell from you. afar, and he goes, "Can I have this one?" I'm like, I "Smart guess. move, Caesar." An Smart asshole. move, little C. Uh, so yeah, so that was my rant on uh, fucking having being cared for, being cared for. At least I know that if I off myself or if I die, I'm gonna get like fucking the. And then here's the worst part. Oh, I was five minutes away from opening a door with the key, right? <laughs> so then you would have found me sleeping, and then I would have woken up to uh, three, three fucking dudes retards. right over you. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, I would have lost my shit. That would have been great, actually. If Next time I'm gonna tell little C to be like, yo, little C, hold up, dog. You ever wanted to see me upset? Don't fucking knock. wake me up with three fucking retards. Uh, At least uh, dicks were What's going on? What's going on? You're sleeping? No. No, you can't sleep. Can't sleep, bro. You got to let us know when you sleep. Yeah. Damn right. So what's this Karen bit? You said that there's some Karen bullshit. Yeah, bro. Let me tell you. I've, uh, I experienced a Karen. I experienced a privileged Karen for the you first time in today? my life. We had a Karen today. Which you one thought, was today? Uh, she thought you sat on her Tesla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, coffee. Was that not a bitch? Well, you, you backed up, and I'm like, hey, don't sit on the... I was going to tell you, don't sit on the car. I wasn't going to I, know, I don't sit on cars, sit on, dude. I know. I'm not a piece of shit. I know. I, I realize, as a car guy, I think you understand etiquette yeah. and the annoyance of leaning on some uh, dude's car. Uh, but you kind of stepped back because we were looking at some incident on the road, right? Well, I, yeah. So we were... Because we were... I was trying to prevent from getting a, a parking ticket. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, so you uh, sauced the guy up. I, well, I also pretended to be Sucked putting my credit dick. card information on yeah. the app when... I was not going to do it. You sucked his dick. Uh, but then, yeah. So I moved across from you yeah. because we saw some dude. I'm like, but here's the worst part. She came in from an angle where she could clearly see that you're not sitting on a car. And she goes, sitting on my car? And then that's all she said. Yeah. And then you said no. And then she gets in her car. And she's like, like, disgusted. Like, 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 like I spat on her. Yeah. On but, her face. I mean, obviously, well, by the way, Teslas have cameras. Yeah. So you could see that. Yeah. But I also feel like it has like a self-defense mode. If you would have sat on it, it yeah, like it would have shocked my dick or something. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, so she kind of gave you like a little like. So two two Karens and two Karens back to back. Mm. Ugh, I don't know. I think I'm attracting some bad energy then, bro. Okay, so 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 let me tell you what happens, bro. So I I I walk into the club yesterday, 
You know what I mean? And we're having delivery from uh, our boys over at the CNC. I think it's obvious what. Yeah, at a strip club. On. At a strip club. Okay. And, uh, you know, strip clubs sell, sell beverages. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm at this, uh, I'm entering at the strip club and I'm seeing this dude unload to, you know, to bring over the other beverages or the club. Okay, interesting dude. I walk in just fine. I okay. Do, I do my things. Right. Okay. The fucking dude brings four, first of all, four massive pallets of fucking Coke products. I'm going to kill myself if this doesn't get better. Listen to the story, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you context. I'm painting the picture of what's going on here, right? So this fucking dude brings four pallets is a lot for the size of my strip club. You okay. know this. You can't, can we, let's just take a guess here in the chat where you work at based right. on everything you've said. If I'm, if I'm retarded, I could be like, and I'll say the name. Like, if I'm a retard. <laughs> Listen to the story, bro. You're telling me. Listen to the fucking story, bro. Okay. okay? So, and then, so, you know, the guy's job is to fucking put the product in the correct places so that the customers who mm-hmm. want the titties that are in their face, they want to get a beverage. Okay. The fucking guy barely does his fucking job and then tells me, hey, bro, I'm going to just fucking go. Uh, you know, so you guys can finish this. I'm like, ah, why don't you tell the, uh, the head honcho? What's up, dog? You're the head honcho. I'm not the head honcho. I'm, I'm the second head. Okay. Okay, the first head honcho walks in there and he tells the guy. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to put these in there. Yeah. And okay. the guy's, oh, you know, some guy's going to come in 20 minutes and the guy dips out. Leaves all this shit all over the fucking uh, 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 floor, dude. Okay. Two hours later go by and no one passes by. Okay. So we're now, you know, of all this fucking coke everywhere and we fucking can't put, you know, people are walking by, you know, people are you know, complaining, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That shit's going on. Two hours later the guys show up, the guys start putting shit together. My fucking boss is upset. He's upset because, yo, this fucking guy walks in here, bro. You know, and I'm going to be honest with you, he, he might have let them have it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He, he, was, t- he was venting his frustrations on to how this fucking dude. New people that Yeah, to the people in. that came over to, to do this shit. What's, you know, he vented his frustration. You know? Okay. He's Cuban. Okay. So, el cubanazo le salió un poquito, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then some Karen overheard the, uh, the, the exchange of words. Okay? And then she, gets a, she got offended. She got offended at she what? She got offended that he was raising was his voice. Was it a white? A white? A white Karen? one? Yeah. Come on, okay. bro. Okay. What okay Cuban, is there black what, Karens? What, Cuban, what fucking Cuban Karen or black Karens? Are there hey, black the Karens, though? I don't think I've ever met I've one. I've never seen a black Karen. I've never I met think one either, that's dude. just how they are. Yeah. Dude. So, you know, the, the, so I'm there. The lady pulls me aside and says, let me talk to you. I'm like, what's going on? Was it you who disrespected those people? And I'm like, uh, oh, what are you talking about, bro? Disrespected. Okay, because she overheard the conversation. She overheard the conversation between my manager and that the he was bitching people. about the first guy that was supposed to. Yeah. St- so he's bitching his frustration of all this shit that's going on, right? So okay. she she thought it was me. Okay. And I'm like, uh, no, it wasn't me, dude. But I'll find out what's going on because I, honestly, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I figure what's weed. going on. Because what? Because of the weed. <laughs> you know, I go into work. Um. So then I get this guy, and she's like, starts tearing this, starts tearing my boss a new asshole. Mm-hmm. She goes, I work in people relations. Right off the bat, I'm like, oh, okay. God, we already know where this is going, you know? Yeah. You, how dare you disrespect these people and blah, 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 blah. You know, she just goes on and on. She said uh, that or did she say PR? Public uh, relations. She didn't say public relations. She said people relations. Well, maybe it was public relations. Whatever. Something that has to do with people, right? Okay. Uh, well, and public could be a thing. Could, it could be a thing. Okay. And uh, the guys that are, co- are there and they're like, yeah, we don't really care. Like the guys are like, no, nah, we don't care, bro. But she's like offended for them. That's, so he's like, how dare you? I can't believe. And she's like, oh. and she's like, just like, like, you know, where like someone's dropped a hard end. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like someone dropped a hard end. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And uh, these guys are like, yeah, no, we don't. We're good, bro. No, it was just, you know, he's just venting his frustration at us, bro. Mm-hmm. He says, let me get your, and starts taking a picture of the guy's tags. Like the whole thing, dude. I'm going to file a corporate complaint. Nice. That's right? the weapon of the Karen. Right. I'm going to, I'm going to file the formal. I'm going to call complaint. corporate. Okay. Right. And then leaves. Okay. The so guys now, are like, you know, so in other words, the guys who took the actual fucking yelling yeah. were like, nah, we don't care. Okay. Nah, I mean, whatever, dude. You know, whatever, dog. We don't care. Yeah, so then this bitch is going to file a complaint with So corporate. now some fucking heads are going are, are gonna to start rolling because some other person got offended. Okay. You know what, you, or what I hate uh, m- uh, most about 2020? Uh, the Karens have been coming out of the woodworks because yeah. they're bored, they're at home, they're not fucking. And That's Karen. And they... Are they're they're upset, right? Yeah. The mask Karens are particularly yeah. fucking terrible. The mask Karens that come in there and they're oh like, it, but you got it's got to go." I fucking love the production value of this fucking <laughs> shit. Uh, but the mask Karens are coming out in droves. It's one over forty, I know. 
Uh, but they, they, they're coming out in droves because uh, they want to be able to tell you something like, hey, put on your shit. Yeah. Right. So even if it's, yeah, you should have your mask on, whatever, whatnot. It's not your fucking business to tell me. Yeah. Right. Well, I think to a degree. If I'm in an open space. No. If I'm inside of a place, obviously the yeah. stores no, require I agree that shit. No. But if I'm outside on the sidewalk and you're telling me to put your mask on, I'm going to be like, hey, you should go try to have sex with your fucking husband yeah. or some shit. Or, yeah. hey, I'm not your fucking husband. I don't yeah. have to listen to your shit. Right. Yeah. Like, or beat him. I don't understand what the... So that's a lot. That's happening a lot. But then what I love, too, is now boredom. So you have the boredom yeah. of these fucking bitches that come yeah. in here and they're like, oh, offended for somebody else. That's the part that bothers me. Which, like, you're... Okay, I get it. You Maybe you heard... Because I remember I had a Karen once. I said, fuck, in a Publix. And she goes, I would appreciate if you fucking... Or, or, or I'll be wrong. <laughs> I would that appreciate if you fu- fucking didn't... She said, I would appreciate if you didn't use that language. Okay. But this was at a time where I think I was working at it. I had a real job. So I now I've realized, by the way, after I got fired, gloves are off. I don't care Who anymore. Who gives a fuck? I don't care anymore about anything. But back then, I was like, oh, okay. What I should have said was, you know, mind your own fucking business. Yeah. Right? But I'm a retard. Yeah. I'm a retard. So it's one of those, like, arguments you have in your head um, where you look back and you're like, I should have fucking told her off. should have punched in the fucking dick. But yeah, but people are, like, telling you what to do. Like, hey, But that's you the are... part that, uh, look. Mind your own business. Should my boss have been yelling? Maybe not. You know, did he lose his cool? Maybe he did. I honestly wasn't there. Okay, I don't, but you I, know where that well, comes from. Hold on, but look, I, I, okay. But if the people who got yelled at were like, yeah. yeah, and it should end right there. Yeah. It should end right there. Well, it's none of her fucking business. One, two, why are you making it a big deal? Because she's Karen, fucking bored. She's unfucked. Karen, dog, the Poly people side. who got yelled at were like, yeah, we don't care. She got a poli sci, a degree in poli sci, and she's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking show my worth." Let me tell you, bro. I've never wanted to punch someone in the face so hard, bro. Yeah, I mean, because uh, what happens if someone loses their job over that shit, bro? Maybe, uh, but that's the worst part—the part that uh, is the boredom. Stupid. And then you, you fucking distract me. I was gonna say something about that, uh, about that mentality. It's to get into your business. Is that boredom? It's that telling you what to do because yeah. obviously you have to make up for it somewhere in yeah. life. But, uh, I, yeah, I don't think there's a black Karen. Black Karens don't exist. It's like usually, it's a type of woman, by the way. Can I try to describe her? Right? Yeah. Glasses? Yes, actually. Fat? No. Okay. Opposite. Okay. Pit. I know where you're going. I know where no, you're going. It's either or. It's the same, though. It's yeah. the same. Per- yeah, I know where you're going. Keep going. It's either or. How is she dressed? Uh, how is she dressed? Does she have a cardigan? Cardigan. Like, like, a, a, like, a, like a throw over. Like something that she threw over her, her actual. This was business casual. Business casual. Okay, not, not business, business sexual. No, 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 no. No. No Karen is business sexual. Uh, yeah, I've seen plenty of fucking Karen business sexuals. And I'm like, you know what? If you could... I, <laughs> I was going to say some misogynist <laughs> shit. Like, you know what? If you fucking... Uh, what's this? I've met some Richards. It's Richard, the uh, the Karen equivalent? Is it Jerry? I thought it was Jerry. No. No. Uh, I thought it was Jerry. Was I don't it? think males have an easy one. Males are harder. Karen is like a Karen. Like, Karen, you have the picture with the, the, the hair. Yeah. Guys, it's a little bit hard, but you know the type of guy. It's like usually an older. It's obviously it's always white. Mm-hmm. Latinos never fucking. They're not gonna complain to to public because they're afraid of ice. So, yeah. uh, if you're a fuck, you're usually like an older white guy. Yeah. It's gonna be like I would appreciate it. You know, it's very formal. I've seen that too, uh, but it's it's a very particular look. But I can't put a name to that. Yeah, like a white woman. I can I put think a name J- to that. For me, Jerry strikes me off as a. Uh, such a fucking Jerry. A Jerry. Well, I think that's more. That's a Rick. Uh, fucking Rick and Morty. But bullshit. wasn't that a th- like? Didn't we? I could have sworn we, we had a, a, a show no, on this. No, we had an Jerry. episode on this. Like Jerry's we looked up much. these names. I think we spent some time. Was this a Tom Cruise quality rant? That's funny. A Tom What's up Cruise. Tom Cruise well, bro. Tom Cruise had a rant. I, yeah. Here's the, the first thing. one was valid. No, I think Tom Cruise. I think that was a fake rant. Ooh. Do you think to hype up the movie? I think it was a fake rant. No, I think that well, like people have quit. What's happening? No, I think it was a fucking manufactured rant that he came in there and he fucking wanted this rant to go viral because, bro, movie movie studios are struggling right now. Yeah. They can't come out with movies. There's no one going to movie theater, so they're fucking struggling. So what I think happened is because uh, they're shooting, I think, in California, right? Yeah, it's my conspiracy. It's mm-hmm. a conspiracy theory. I'm not sure if, it, if it's – but I'm just looking at it. And, like, it seemed like a per- – because the audio quality was too good. Right, 4K, hear, good angles. Well, there was it wasn't video; it was audio, it was audio that they right. captured, and uh, it was somebody apparently breaking COVID guidelines on set. Right, so maybe they had their masks down or whatnot, and he just fucking Chain goes guards. off on a shit, and uh, he's losing his fucking mind. And I think it's manufactured. I think what it is is that they're getting a free pass. 
Like movie studios are having free pass to shoot wherever the fuck they want. They can do whatever it is they want. They don't have Hollywood, to. baby. Like they're closing everything you down. Can little and, little kids in Hollywood. And a lot of places they're closing shit down. Not movies. Movies are still out here trying to fucking fuck. Uh, so I think that was their way of showing, hey, we're fucking. We care about our guidelines. Yeah. And well, we got Tom Cruise ranting. I thought Scientology was supposed to practice this, like, like no man, you're supposed to. Because Scientology, I don't know if you ever, like, looked into that shit. I don't know. You got, uh, I think you were two steps away from joining Scientology, bro. I, no, no. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because the, the, why? Because it costs money? Well, yeah, it costs a lot of money. <laughs> like so expensive. you got to be a fucking, and I'm a uh, broke ass nigga. But if you, uh, uh, so there's books and there's a series on this. The book is going clear, and it's a wonderful book. I yeah. read the entire fucking thing. The first yeah. half is the history. Well, um, the, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Lawrence Sum. It's no, Lawrence. No, no. The other guy. The main guy. The main guy is L. Ron, L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah, 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 but this book was made by some guy. I forgot his name. First half is the history. Second half is where it's gone and all the shady shit. The wife still hasn't shown up. The leader's wife, his name is David Miscavige. Shelly Miscavige. This fucking bitch. They said, oh, no, she's alive. She's just in a mountain uh, retreat, and she's doing work for us in a mountain, and she doesn't like being filmed. Yeah. That bitch is dead. Yeah. I've never heard of a more dead Ripped bitch. Ripped to what's her name? Uh, Shelly Miscavige. Shelly Rip, bro. And, and, Ham radio you, feels you. You remember dog. the hot girl from uh, uh, King of Queens? Yeah, the, she the was into wife? that shit. Yeah, no, she, and then she she had a show on A and E or, mm-hmm. or whatnot, or I forgot what it was. It was her the one that came out, right? That, that she's like, yo, thing? fuck you guys. I'm I'm letting out all the fucking tea on these motherfuckers. She had she filed a missing persons report. She paid the fee. She did all the shit, and the cops did an investigation and found that she's uh, healthy and safe. And uh, she had to get a lawyer to try to get the actual documentation. And that was in 2016. He still hasn't gotten the documentation to show that Shelly Miscavige is alive. She wanted to do like a welfare check. And this bit, essentially what you guys fucking did with me yesterday after an hour of sleeping. Uh, I mean, let's be honest. Dude. Four years. So they, they weren't think, sleeping. So she thinks that the fucking police are in the pockets of the fucking Scientologists, yeah. which is nuts. But why wouldn't they be? They got the money. Yeah. The, but you know, the worst part is, uh, you know, the building here. It's, it's. There's ooh. nobody in the fucking building. Like four people. It's a front. Yeah, so what they do is they buy real estate. Laundering money. This is No, it's not laundering money. I don't money. know if they own that, though. They do. They I, buy I, their I, fucking I buildings. Looked, I mean, I, I, I have access to the documents. What actually... they do is uh-huh. that they buy buildings, right? And then they say, oh, look, we have, we're, we've never expanded. We're expanding at a, a crazy rate. Mm-hmm. Our acceleration of, of growth is crazy. Look how many miles of, of real estate we have. And they talk about all the real estate they have on the planet. But the buildings are empty. They have maybe a, a fucking receptionist, a janitor that comes in and clean it. And that's about it. And then they don't have shit in the fucking meetings or in, in the actual buildings. So they could say how much real estate they have and how much growth they have and as a fucking way to... But they don't have to launder money because they're tax-free. Yeah. Because they're a fucking religious but that's organization. How you money. But now, let me ask you a question, Piggy. I've looked into this shit, bro. I need I'm you to be honest deep. with me. I need you to yeah. be honest with me. Like, look at me. I want you to look at my eyes oh my God. as I ask you this question. Okay. Are you taking any drugs? No. Really? Yeah. You've gone... Let me tell you... I, and, and, I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this. I'm a conspiracy theory kind of a guy. Okay. Right? What do you mean conspiracy? This isn't a conspiracy. I'm just saying, I'm a conspiracy kind of guy. Okay. Like, I'll see, you know, I'll get into these conspiracy theories. I'm like, damn, son. You're also a you've fucking You've gone retard. down. A you've gone moron. down. You've told me some shit in, the, in, in this past week of some There's some shady shit happening. shit, my dude. Listen. What? Right. Listen. You don't go this route without any enhancements, bro. No, there's no enhancements. I You're don't believe retarded. you. I don't. I'm going to be very upset if I find out you've done drugs without me. You get upset because I don't tell you about my, my no, I get vaginal upset. Conquest. I get upset. Listen, listen. I can, I, can get, I can get over that one. I've gotten over that one. I know, I know you've gotten some side pussy. Congratulations, don't by the way. Don't say side pussy. What are you uh, I, oh, main pussy? Or not. Wow. Yes or no. Main pussy? I'm not going to tell you anything. There's wow. No. Listen, whatever kind of pussy you're getting... Your boy, I'm okay, dog. I, want a I macho, got your back. I'm a macho man. I'll right, drop I'm you. okay. I'm happy that you're getting main or side pussy. Okay. The, what I cannot take from you is if you're doing drugs and you have not done drugs with me. I don't need drugs. Yeah, I disagree. I really think. Why the I, fuck would I? Dude, there is no. How do you go from being? Uh, how do you go weed. from being? Uh, because you're a smart dude, bro. Oh, you're oh, a thank smart you. dude. Thank you. You're I not. A, listen, that. there's a lot of people where you know when you tell me something. I, I, I'm like, well, he's probably thought about it. He's probably come to a conclusion. He's gone through the whole thing that smart people do. Get on with it. Okay. Motherfucker. You're doing some shit. You've been telling me I've some shit lately. You you've been telling two me some things. shit lately where I'm like, dude, 
What, this is one that you think is conspiracy? No, Scientology? Not, no, bro, but you... Dog. The what was weird, the one before? The, the fucking... The weird shit going on in Texas. Listen, bro. You're you're going... Listen, I'm going to be very upset. I told you some weird shit. That's the, the video. Listen. Video? All right. Your boy's been doing video for three years Alex solid Jones. now. Alex Jones. Okay. So I'm looking Alex at these jo videos. Show the I'm tattoo like, of Alex Jones on your chest of these what? people, bro. What's going on? I don't know what's happening there, but it, there's some there's some shit going on. There's some shit going on. 2020 has been a weird year. Yeah. But you know what I hate? You know what I fucking hate? We're, as, as humans, we're retards. Yeah. yeah. We're retards, right? Yeah. So as humans, we assume that because the turn of the year is happening, oh, now I'm going to start going to the gym. Or now shit's going to change because of a different year. The difference You're between... You're not going to do it to me. What? You're not gonna do it to me. I, I saw. I saw what you just did. You what think? You I think doing? I'm what stupid, in your bro? Fucking retarded. You head. just went like this. You just completely. You're trying to change the subject here, bro. No, it's part of the same fucking subject that you and your fucking infantile head, all right, cannot comprehend. All right, go. I'll. I'll allow you to continue. It's a springboard from mm -hmm. what you fucking said. Okay. All right. I'm not taking S drugs. Okay. Why not? Well, no, I don't believe you. I do not believe you're not taking drugs. Absolutely not. Why would I take drugs and not dude, tell you? Dude, you have all you, the fucking one, signs. You have all I the signs. You, you have all the signs of people taking drugs, dude. If I took drugs, uh -huh. I would tell you. Number I, two, I, would hope so. I don't need drugs because drugs are for retards. No, it's not. It makes life better. Uh huh. Okay, that's it. Okay. There's you're taking. No, you're you're taking absolutely anything. taking drugs. Liquor's bro. a drug if you want to consider that. Yeah, bro. That. But actually, I've been heavy on that. No. Your boy's been fucking, he's been on that uh, mango smash from Taurus. <laughs> Little man looks like he smokes weed on Mondays. That's funny. There you go, bro. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's some weird shit going on. I don't know why we got into Scientology, but that fucking building, I want to. I Really? I, I mean, I've, I've actually, I remember back when we were doing packages. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked up a few packages there a few times. Okay. I saw a group of people go in there that were super sus. Well, I mean, they're normal people, but they're just fucking. No, they're not. They're sus. The normal, okay, the normal people are the lower What, what two grunts. arms, a head, and legs? Yes, the that's The higher normal. ups are the ones that are fucking sus because they know, the, they know the gig. The higher ups are the ones that are like, yeah, we know this is fucking money. How crazy is that? They're not that's taxed. Fucking... I don't know about you, man. I, one of the things, one of, listen, all right? Yeah, we people should infiltrate it. That I'm part of the alt-right. We should infiltrate I, it. I've been accused on many things, all right, saying that, hey, man, uh, for example, a gentleman wakes, right? Hey, a gentleman wake, why are you doing a video with this guy that's a known... <laughs> he's a known Nazi. He's a he's known. A... <laughs> uh, listen, man. Donnie's made a lot of mistakes. All right, Donnie. Shout out to Donnie. Everybody knows Donnie. Everybody yeah. knows Donnie. Yeah. He's made a lot of mistakes. There was one that teased me. He teased me, right? Because he said, "Yeah, I'm considering the uh, tax exemption for Scientology." So in 2016, that motherfucker said that that he was reconsidering their tax. Yeah, and then exemption he got a fat status. paycheck and was like, "You know what, bro? Fuck it. Let the motherfuckers keep it." <laughs> he didn't fucking do shit about that. So I'm yeah. like, uh, "Did he pardon uh, our boy?" Who? Has he done his partings yet or no? No. Because I could have sworn I heard something about him partying um, Snowden and all these people, dude. Well, yeah, but that's not going to happen. You don't think so? No. But, uh, but one thing that he Free said Snowden. was about the Scientology, and I thought my boy was going to... Not my boy. I thought... <laughs> Biden is going to get jealous, my bro. I thought this guy was going to come out and fucking go, you know what, man? Fuck you, Scientology, yeah. you motherfucker. Because you know how they got their tax exemption status. How? They fucking intimidated the IRS. They doxed people from the IRS. They would harass them. They fucked with them legally, filing thousands of lawsuits against people for using, you know, infringing on their whatever bullshit yeah. and doing shit until the IRS said, whatever, whatever you want. And then I forgot who was the president that said, oh, we're going to uh, allow a tax. That was in the 70s, status. right? No, bro. This is in the fucking 90s. So oh. It could have been Clinton. It could have been Bush. It could have been one of these fucking retards. But, Bush uh, would have taken that shit. He ain't but, no punk bitch. But, this, but that's what fucking happened. And they, they got a tax exemption status. Yeah. And they gave him a, a freedom, a, essentially a religious freedom. So anything they, do, anything they do is protected under yeah. the uh, the uh, freedom of speech and yeah. freedom of uh, practicing religion. Yeah. So they're untouchable and they're yeah. untaxed. Could you fucking imagine how much God, money it takes? I would kill to be untaxed, bro. I would kill to be untaxed. I'm right, Just got to try to... Uh, let me look at the comments here. I miss the old piggy. Uh, they're aliens. Uh, I can understand Tom Cruise's rant. That's because, okay, so that's why we got into Scientology. Yeah, oh, Tom because Cruise. of Tom Cruise. I think the first rant might have been real. No. But what it was, was rant? A, what was the rant? He had multiple rants. Yeah, I know. The but first this... one was, okay, the guidelines. Respect the guidelines. Respect the rules. I'm with it. But then the second one, it was like, what, three or four of them already, right? For what? That he's, so he's that a he's known ranting? ranter? Yeah, well, yeah, bro. But you know, let's be honest. We also know Tom Cruise ain't, ain't there exactly 100%. You know what I'm saying? He's in there more than several. Which no, I'm, is like I'm, he's, I'm saying here. No, yeah. Here. yeah. That's the worst part. I think that he's too into that, that 
at some point it's like you're you know how you could die from drinking too much water yeah like he's too much for his own right you too know much kool-aid have you seen that video that leaked from scientology or tom cruise like years ago that he's fucking that shit crazy you can't put it because they'll fucking claim it but it's <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna get a knock on the door hey i'm radio we own you now it's a fucking video of him going like uh, talking about like the different levels and using their jargon so he's like yeah i think that guy's an sp <laughs> SP is a suppressed person in Scientology. So if you're hindering on my ability to, to practice Scientology, yeah. you're an SP and they'll fucking harass you. They'll fuck with you. They'll send you shit. So, Scientology, I want to make something clear. We support you. So the part that's wild is uh, he was like, I think that guy's an SP. <laughs> <laughs> like like and that. And he jumps on the chair and fucking beats the shit Losing out of Losing his wife. fucking mind laughing. Yeah. He goes, I think people are... Uh, and he's really aggressive shit. Yeah. I'll show you the video after, but it's fucking stupid. You can't watch it because it's leaked. Uh, like leaked footage from whatever the fuck. But dude, it is psychotic. Fucking psychotic. Um, let's see. Dianetics. Yeah, Dianetics is a book that uh, uh, L. Ron Hubbard, right, sold. And uh, he turned that into religion. And uh, he himself has been known to, yeah. to quote. Well, he used to, to write say, fiction books. Yeah, but for like pennies a word. So yeah. he made he would just make all these books that had stupid uh, long length, right? Uh, and then what he did is that uh, I forgot who told him, and this is something he preached, which is if you want to make money, start a religion. Yeah. And he fucking started the religion, which is uh, crazy shit. So that was I don't know where that went. You know, dropping the souls on volcanoes. That's what it is. Yeah, Zenu. South Park is probably the greatest. Fucking take on that shit ever, bro. Yeah, because those they fuckers didn't give a fuck. They fucking fucked it up. Uh, <laughs> so okay, so that's Karen. All right, so you got a Karen. Uh, you dealt with a Karen today and a Karen uh, yesterday. Yeah, dude, it's kind of crazy, man. I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird. I also think that people need to like. I think there's a place mind for mind your fucking business. I think, I think you could pick up a Karen. We even pick up a Karen. Pick up a Karen. I think that a Karen. Are you are you saying that I could pick up a Karen and then S- yes to put my penis inside yes. of her? I think, homie, I could pick up anybody. Uh, okay, I have a girlfriend though, and I won't okay. do it. But here's the I respect thing. my girl. What I, my I'm hypothesis, single. I, I haven't dealt with a Karen, right? I think maybe that was a minor Karen that told me to not say curse words, but whatever. Okay. But I don't think I've ever dealt with like a full fledged Karen. Yeah. Because I don't. I mean, maybe. Well, because they're taller than you. They're white. They got more money. No, because I'm not in a position. Different status. I work, essentially, from the house, okay. so I don't fucking deal like with. Maybe when I was before my other, you know, fucking job. Maybe I dealt with Karens, but I don't remember <laughs> dealing with a, a crazy parent. To me, yeah. the, the people that were crazy were the fucking administrators. The yeah. moms and dads were chill. Yeah. Uh, and they knew. The, the, funny enough, the moms and dads were like, yeah, I know my kid's a fucking retard. I'm like, I'm sorry. And my kid's an <laughs> asshole. But, I, you know what? I never got... I was able to ca- kind of like... finagle my way out of those things when mm-hmm. I was in high school. Or no, when I was like in elementary school, middle school. And then I got to my parents like, dude, you just... Yeah, we know, we know it's you, bro. Like, yeah, like we know it too. We know you're the fucking retard. The know? retard. I'm glad. <laughs> you're the fucking uh, head down. But I, I haven't dealt. But here's the thing. I think that if you, well, that's the thing. Because you're going to have to swallow your balls in order to fuck a Karen. You're going to have to swallow your balls. So you're going to have to, yes, you're right. Um, you know, you're going to have to play the game. I'm trying to think of it. I, I, mm, I'm not getting into this. I'm not going to, uh, I can't do it. Okay. Yeah. Because no. you're trying to get pussy. You're going to get me in trouble. Uh, so yeah. So Karens are, are uh, it's an epidemic. And 2020 has really bred I think the most maximum Karen because now you have the fucking mass Karen, yeah. which I told you about earlier. Well, it's just evolution. Yeah, but the thing is that anytime they get an opportunity to bitch at something, they're gonna bitch about it. So th- this year's masks. Before that, it's whatever fucking you know whatever regulation because they're watching the news all day. Yeah. They're here getting freaked Ooh, out, and they're in notes. They're out here because they're. You know, I know we have some viewers out there who are ham radio fans. Do we have any ham radio Karens? Have you guys ever dealt with any ham radio Karens? That's what I'd like to know. Okay. Is that your attempt to get engagement? Yeah. Okay. See how I see what I did there? Engage with the audience. Uh, when will you two start talking about radios? Uh, little man looks like he smokes weed on Mondays. That's the part that I love, by the way, about uh, this fucking channel. You may look it, but you definitely not. The retardation. I don't know what I see now. now back and forth. No, Daniel. Okay. So the fucking, first of all, the retardation is palpable. It's right here. But uh, the retardation of me. Oh, let's come up with names for the channel. Ham radio is great because pig, pig cake, ham radio, ham radio. We're doing a podcast. You know, it makes sense. It's a great pun. It's a wordplay, and it works great. But then the first episodes that we did, there was an onslaught of ham radio interested views. People that are like, the fuck? This isn't ham radio. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a huge ham radio community on YouTube. Yeah. Like a massive fucking community of people. Which is kind of, I'll tell you what's kind of funny, that there is such a big audience for that. There's a a vintage lens. There's a fucking. I know, no, no. But the irony of it is 
it's radio waves. You know what I'm saying? It's all okay. fucking here. Yeah, like there's no there's no visual to this shit. Bro. Yeah, but there's uh, fucking... there's machines. There's technology. Yeah. There's fucking visuals. It's reviews. Same shit. Right, you but know, you're just, testing yeah. this radio. Roger seventy five forty two. Uh, uh, a modern rogue had an yeah. episode on ham radios yeah. and talking about short frequency radio and shit. But then, yeah, so we'll get uh, people that enjoy ham radios from time to time, and it's uh, it's disappointment ointment because there's no uh, there's no what what no, I'm just saying. What'd you do? Nothing. Okay. There's no uh, there's uh, there's no knowledge of any short frequency radio here. Yeah. Like there's no the only knowledge I have of the radio is when um well I mean not that it's it's not that hard to operate a ham radio okay well if you say so you have some weird fucking interest uh Godzilla Kamala <laughs> that's funny well that's a weird thing uh I saw a TikTok is crazy uh first of all among the uh, questionably aged twerking people that you see right and I make sure to never watch them more than once. Oh, okay. Right. Wow. <laughs> I, never, I didn't know we were going that way. I never. And I always check their profile. 17, get out of here. I don't want to see no 17-year-old girls twerking. Are you crazy? 18, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll like it. 18, I'll like it. Is it like, is it, you're like 18 in January. Well, you know, might stick around. There is no... I uh, might stick around. That's not... You tell that to the judge. <laughs> okay? You tell that to the judge. She said it was 18 in four weeks, judge. Oh, she said, yeah. She said it's very accepted in a court of law. Yeah. No, she said... Yeah, well, I say that you're going to do 25 <laughs> to life. Uh, so, yeah, but then among that, there's also political talk, right? There's a lot of talks. There's who talk. There's um, I'm on magic talk, right? I'm doing fucking magic, magic. stuff. Uh, but then you're, there's uh, there's also politi- political talk. And my favorite one now is uh, Kamala, right? I think it's Kamala Harris. But if you mispronounce it, you're racist. That's the one wow. I said. But then here's the thing. The bitch that said that was mispronouncing the name. <laughs> Look at the kettle calling the pot literally black, right? So that's the one that I love. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, Piggy, you should just propose to Danny. You guys make a great couple. What's up, dog? Yeah, but I don't want to hear it. You're dead. I'm too Arab and uh, Cuban for that. I don't want to inherit your debt, though. But what debt? I don't know, dude. I don't know which debt you're you in. You definitely have more debt than I do. <laughs> you have more debt. No, I don't. And babe, I don't use records. credit cards to buy. What? Expunged <laughs> records. I don't have any. <laughs> what did I tell you? If you got money yeah, for a expunged. lawyer, you don't need to fucking be expunged, dude. Okay. Uh, so the other one here was, uh, uh, you know, your boy's been on that virgin hunt. Yeah. I've been on that virgin hunt, man. I'm not literally virgins. I've been on the virgin. I've what's been wrong, what's virgin. wrong with hunting virgins, dude? There's a lot wrong with fucking hunting virgins, Daniel. <laughs> There's over the age virgins, my dude. I'm aware, but the majority are not. Well, obviously the majority is going to be. Okay. All right. Pokemon. All right. Okay. Listen. Uh, I'm on the hunt for several Charizards, all yeah. right? And it's not just, oh, whatever Charizards, because you could find Charizards like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's perfectly conditioned. Shiny gem ones, mint, the black ones, bro. Gem Oof. mint Charizards. You could find Charizards, right? I ha- you have one right here. Yeah. You have one right here. Unfortunately, it's not in good condition. What? So You don't think, what do you think that'll rate at, bro? Yeah, seven. Fuck, what's seven go for? Nothing. You just people, fucking you just fucked me, bro. Well, we had to check it. We had to check it. You just fucked. Oh my god! So Go ahead, fin- finish thing, your though. fucking thing, thing, dude. We got finagled. We got finagled at Bamboozled. Walmart. So I went to Walmart with Little Caesar, right? Little and, C, shout uh, out. Walmart, first of all, has so many attractive women, like to the point where I was about to drop on my knee for like three different women, and I know that they're so fertile. If you're at Walmart, you're fertile. <laughs> you don't gotta drop your knee. Guaranteed. Oh, you don't gotta drop. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, they were my height. They were my height. But they're looking for, um, they're looking for, they're like on Tinder. That They're like, oh, no short guys. And I'm like, all right, no fat girls. All right. <laughs> that's it. There you go. Equal opportunity here. Yeah, that's right, bro. Fuck. Uh, but Walmart is just, man, chock full. Yeah, but you also have to be more specific. It's not just Walmart. It's South Florida Walmart. Okay. Well, I. we got the thickums from every class range, bro. I wanted to propose. All right. I have two Charizards, bitch, from Evolutions also. Yeah, but those, again, they have to be uh, graded highly in order for them to be yeah. valuable. Like, the low ones, you could probably get one for, like, 50 bucks. But, like, the graded PSA 10, that's, like, 350 for a fucking Oof. cardboard. See, I'd fucking drop it for the piece of cardboard. Um, but I was looking, Actually, so yesterday from our conversation, I went on fucking eBay, and I've been looking at PSA graded fucking cards, dude. Mm-hmm. There's some good bargains out there, man. You just got to get the right one. Yeah, yeah, but that's the... And I forgot, a friend of mine was like, you should, I mean, if you invested that in that, uh, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm talking <laughs> about it, investing. Put it in the stock market. Gary V. ass motherfucker. 
Uh, but yeah, so the the <laughs> we actually okay. Iowa Walmart is freaking gross. Absolutely, it's fucking gross. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. So we go to Walmart and uh, thoughties. So you're trying to sift through the thoughties. Said, no, I want the virginity. So they don't. There's no the way they stock Walmart is they look. Uh, yeah, I I didn't want to throw these, but they look and then they just yeet it in whatever fucking location it should go. Yeah. So the Pokemon cards are next to uh, the sports cards, the Yu Gi Oh cards, and the Magic cards, right? Where the Magic, virginity is the gathering, the the fucking virgin section. Listen, when I go to a place and if I'm copying Pokemon cards, pop a couple packs. I don't fucking go uh, and and spend a lot of yeah. money. I'm like, fucks buy a pack and then that's it these guys took the display case yeah so these virgins and then one walmart that we went to there was a guy wearing a blue shirt that caesar thought was an employee that dude was not an employee that guy was out there i think that he was waiting for a restock and he said yeah you guys should go to another walmart that's like three miles that way because they're i think they restocked wow so i think that this fucking virgin was out there stocking to see if or stalking them to see if they're stocking the cards let me tell you something. I, I just realized that we're making we're doing something wrong. How? How many of us are looking for Pokemon within our group? Three. three. Why are three people going to the exact same fucking store? We didn't. We this should be going to I know, but I'm saying we should be going each of us yeah. to individual stores. We should yeah. pick a route and stick to that route, my dude. Well, the other worst part that I fucking realized, by the way, is that these apps don't update their shit. Not at all, so I went to Walmart and it said, oh, it's in stock. Your boy went in there. I was asking every cubanita, every girl there, every woman What's working up, there. Girl? No, they're all old. Hey, uh, oye, ¿dónde está el Pokemon? And she goes, ah, yo no sé. <laughs> no one's gonna and then I realized know. in Walmart, the employees don't know shit. So the departments are so separate that they're almost employees yeah. of different Walmarts places. Walmarts are like the size of a fucking city, bro. Yeah. So oh, if you talk to the tech guy, about fucking uh, some milk? My dude, you are fucking wasting your time. Which milk is better? Gang? Right? Uh, let's see, Saturday Night Virginity. What's up, guys? What's good? My pig is. Uh, Tay Pig sounds like Fair Oaks. Kind of resident. Fair Oaks. Iowa Walmart is freaking gross. Yeah, yeah. Iowa. You said it. Can you imagine? Who the fuck lives in Iowa? Okay, That's listen, fucking good looking. I know plenty of Iowans. That are good looking? That are fucking dimes. Dimes. Okay, but here's the That same. were born and raised in Iowa? Okay. Yeah. What are you fucking racist? Against, against Iowa, yeah. Attractive against white? Iowa, I am. Okay. Weird. However, okay. what Walmart tends to attract is the cesspool of whatever city you're in. Hundred percent, right? Because it's in low income areas. Let's be no. honest. No, no, the is. Walmart. It's Coral what Way? Walmarts have we been to that Coral are in the Way? Fuck? Westchester? Yeah, bro. But look, where in Westchester, bro? Westchester is across the street from an Audi, my dude. Okay, and then right next to a Five Below, but then that's right next to fucking. Yeah, that Five Below was that the same that we went to? No, right. Not, but that was a very clean Five Below yeah, compared to the we, fucking uh, ghetto we, one. We went to a right? pretty bad one, yeah. Uh, Shanique was there, fucking. You know, <laughs> I didn't say it. Shanique was coming in with like they they come in and then they come out like this. <laughs> I met a Jada Coast Eight from Iowa no, once. They come out like this. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we couldn't find anything. We couldn't find anything in here. It's like, I think your, I think your kids have turned into <laughs> fucking squares. It's the cheapest fucking store I've ever been to, but they have so much shit. So here's a good uh, service announcement from our boy of Big Hands Card Magic. He says, "Don't let Walmart change your oil, ever." You should let nobody change your oil. Why the fuck are you going to Walmart to have your oil changed, my dude? Let me tell you, you'll get your oil changed at Walmart, and your fucking tire will fly out. Yeah, bro. I no. remember I told I was telling you today when I went to the I remember I went to uh, that shop, the bike shop at uh at this ghetto one that I bought my first bike at and uh I did Strike some one. maintenance there, right? And then mind you the second bike I bought from the same guy that used to own it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh and then the, as I was riding the clutch flew off. <laughs> I don't know how I got it back. I'm trying to remember how it is that I got it back without a clutch. But I press the clutch. I remember pressing it, and then I see the wire just doing this, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, uh oh." And then he took it back. And he's like, "Oh yeah, sorry." <laughs> and you drove off the lot with the same fucking bike. I drove off the lot with the same. I would have been like, bike. "Nah, motherfucker, like upgrade, like this upgrade this shit." Uh, but yeah, so that's that's good. To, uh, but Walmart attracts the the ghettoest people of all fucking time. And the thing is that Walmart, <clears> the <throat> price are great, right? Everything's always stocked yeah. per se, apart from the fucking cards that yeah. these virgins ravage. Yeah. Mind you, I'm also a virgin, but I'm like, you know what? They're fucking worse because they're there when they're stalking them, and they yeah. know the times. I'm just here randomly going in. Oh, they might have, right? But Walmart attracts a cesspool of fucking people. However, they also attract the baddest bitches. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, with, and that's with respect. That's, dude, that's 
The biggest compliment I could give them. If you're a BB at Walmart, let me tell you, bro. Oh my God, you're gonna get me asking you what candle I should get. All right. <laughs> hey, candle? let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, which candle do you think is? I don't know anything about candles. Go the other way. Go the other way, real quick. Time out. I don't know anything about candles. Could you no, tell me? More. One Could more? you tell me which there. candle I should get, girl? Oh, <laughs> hey, can we try it at your house? Those are uh, the, another TikTok group. Is the people that pick up girls at a uh, TikTok? What are you looking at? So. Porn Pop says, I got my oil changed at Walmart twice. First time, they let they left out my dipstick, and the second time, they left the oil cap off the manifold. Okay, but I'm yeah. a retard when it comes to cars, right? I mean, I'm not going to argue that. Okay, but I could change the oil on any car, like, with my lack of knowledge. We're gonna make a vi- we're gonna make a video of you changing All right, my I'll oil. I'll change your fucking oil. <laughs> All right, so where does the hammer banging drip, go? <laughs> right? Drip can. Let it drip. Change the filter. Place the cap, put the motor on. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Is you that know the it? filters on some cars make no sense, right? I know. I'm aware. Some are fucking this. Some are like, where that? Why? Is, how does that get through the? Yeah. I know. Yeah. But it's still finding the filter and replacing it. And some are just screw-ons, right? Yeah. There you go. So why would you fucking? I, I've realized how much fucking stupid money I've wasted going to the motorcycle shop and be like, so I just want an oil change. I go to a motorcycle shop back in the day. I drop off the bike. I go across the street to CVS. Yeah. I get a Coke. I come back and the guy's done. Yeah, yeah like, but a motorcycle is way easier than a car. Yeah. Like in a motorcycle, I forget it's the... like a 15 minute job. Yeah, not even. But then you on a car, the same shit. Just fucking. Or in a car. If you have the right. You know what the hardest part is? What? What did you do? You know what the hardest part is? What do you Finding think? the wrench. Find, not the wrench. Finding the, uh, the, the so- socket. Yeah, it's standard it's socket. It's a standard socket. The 10 millimeter one? It's a standard for all cars. I know, yeah. But you find. Bro, but guess what? Whenever you have a socket kit, which is the one that's always fucking missing? Yeah, bro. That one. <laughs> that one. Jesus, did you not remember when you fucking looked up the shit in my bike? You came with your kit. We said, oh, let me just look through that. I'm sure it was swam. there. We just didn't look hard enough. You swam for those yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, no, but dude, I, I bought your shit, bro. Huh? Oh, that's oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Don't fucking insult me, so bro. So I think fucking... I'm going to find, uh, I'm going to, just. I want to hit up Walmarts and I want to try, like, just, oh, hi. Yeah, I'm sorry. I ran into you by accident. Uh, what are you looking for? <laughs> you know, just try to pick up bitches at, at fucking Uncle Walmart. Uncle P has a black guy and a patch of hair missing. Hot. <laughs> Did that with a student once. Uh, his uh, mom is a very attractive uh, woman. And uh, I did the... Uh, I t- I, I'm telling him. So I, his mom's over there. And I go, hey, man. Hey, mom. He goes, because everyone knows his mom's hot. That's my mom. I go, I'm going to go talk to her. I'm like, no, you won't. It's like, how are you going to introduce yourself? That's so awkward. I go, dude, I did the best move of all time. Which is, I'm just walking. And then they're around, like, hovering around her. I'm there hovering around her. And then I just do this. Do this. Oh, oh, hey, you're uh, this kid's mom. He goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, he talks a lot about you. I'm like, oh, what's he say? I'm sure good stuff, right? We had a whole conversation. And these guys are dying looking at me talk to his mom, just lo- like losing their shit because uh, I did the. Oh, did you lay it? Did you lay it, bro? No, of course not. Oh, he's a happily married woman. Miserable fucking. Happily married woman. Um, but yeah, so Walmart, I'm going to find uh, my wife at Walmart and uh, I'm going to have 14 kids. I believe kids. you. And, and I believe you will kids. have those 14 kids. <laughs> it's going to be immediate. Like, oh, hey, that, and yeah, then one believe. of them, I like, oh, dang, look at this. <laughs> Walmart, yeah, what's up with her? 14 kids, and, then, and only one of them is yours. The other 13 oh, are from yeah. 17 other dads. No, they're from the uh, trash can. <laughs> After I take it out, and then she's just there doing this. I'm going to steal my, I'm going to steal me a short one. Could you imagine how hard it is? I got to trick them. I got to trick them with humor because they're with like, magic. I don't want to have this. This this guy's going to give me short babies. Listen, bro. Comedy gets you pussy. Listen, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Okay. But uh, so, okay. We have Walmart, Walmart baddies. Uh, so I guess let's go to the green screen. Can we do a commercial? I don't think we've done a commercial in like 10 episodes. Well, we have the new line of uh, ham radio merch, the made in China oh, line. I, uh, I right. Here? You should get. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have the new well, line. I mean, I was going to play a video, but sure. I'll, I'll mer- just, I'll uh, merch that uh, you could uh, do to support the show. I don't know why anybody would ever purchase any uh, ham radio merch. Purchase I like the shirts. It. I purchase actually like the shirts. Yeah, I like the short one. I like the one that's here. Right. I don't like any sort of like crazy thing. We sell them both. Um, uh, just look up Walmart and how many motors that have to be replaced. Piggy needs to make a video of people walking away from the waiting room and their experience with oil change. Tall girls are into short guys. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. One of my I I don't want to say, you know, oh, um, um, history or anything, but uh, I think I have a I have a tall woman fantasy. I want to get I think you have really... an any woman fantasy. 
Yeah, because I'm a heterosexual male, Daniel. But okay. as far as uh, like a, I, I want to get with like a really uh, tall female. Yeah, like a six foot. Those are definitely fun. Yeah, I those get with those one. six footers are definitely a, a good just time. because it's like it's the it, it's a challenge though because you got it's all angles. <sighs> What's well, it's also a challenge to get there because it's also all all uh, humor, <laughs> right? Because they could just be walking around with a drink and then they bump into you, and then you can't just go oh because they're like oh I'm sorry I didn't see you down there so you're already starting off on a bad foot yeah right so you got to really trick them with your you got to you got to bring them down to your level with your humor. You got to bring them down to your level. Yeah, you know. So, yeah, uh, this is the Made in China collection. Yes, it's blurry on purpose, right? Because I know... Uh, see, I, I, I'm a little bit more subtle when it comes to my artistic vision of things. Uh, I, I also said artistic close Horrible. to the way. What? Huh? Okay. So, uh, and people, people don't understand subtlety. So, Made in China, it's a blurry shirt. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny to me. And then we also have the regular line of a ham radio merch up there, right? You have the big logo, you have the small logo, black and white. Um, I think in uh, honor of 2020, we should take out the white ones. <laughs> yes. Okay. For a limited time only, the white ones will be available, bro. On TikTok, I told you my comment uh, that I left on somebody's. Because somebody left, uh, uh, I've been posting a lot on TikTok. And uh, this guy leaves the comments uh, tagging this guy whose username was uh, George Floyd underscore nine seven four six nine right he tags him and then i respond i don't think he's gonna see this big guy <laughs> and then the guy responds damn is that fucked up with me damn yo is that fucked up with me? Uh, uh pig wants a tall girl like maybe five six. Oh, so <laughs> funny wow yeah five six no i want tall i want like amazonian i want like oh my god how did that guy get with her he must be rich or he must be funny you're right about none one of, of the those. above you're right about one of those uh, I don't know. My message aren't displaying. Y'all put me on timeout. No, that's just YouTube. All right. YouTube has been fucking me. Yeah. I hate YouTube right now because I, yeah. I'll put up a video, right? And then I see it like, okay, 200 views. I'm like, oh. then I'll put up a video on TikTok, 100,000 views. Yeah. Then on Instagram, like 3,000 views. Yeah. Then on fucking anywhere else. And it's like, oh, there's so many. But then YouTube is like, sorry, about 200 views. <laughs> I'm sure this is what I mentioned the other day. I'm sure I could start a brand new fucking channel and probably get more views than on fucking YouTube yeah. on my current channel. Yeah. It's fucking upsetting. Yeah, it's I think it's all the I just think what TikTok is doing is they're putting all that feed into their Chinese. Views, okay, no, but their views are different. Their views are like Facebook views. Yeah. So if you watch it from one and two but also on TikTok it's also interactions that I'm getting. Yeah. So YouTube obviously cares about uh watch time, they care about uh interactions, they care about everything. It's more like a TV thing. So kind of for like, TikTok yeah. because it's such an easy to consume outlet. Whereas YouTube is long form content, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I've just noticed this year has been a, a dip down. And I'm yeah. like, this is fucking stupid. You know, but whatever. I'm going to keep making videos. Listen, I'm gonna keep bro. Videos all I'm going to say is shout away. out to the Martinez gang. All right, should we go on standby? Uh, yeah, do a fucking commercial. Oh, oh, oh commercial. Wow, we're Meet going. the mics. Do a commercial. Gonna... And then we'll do the transition. No, nope, can't do it like that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hey. This is Danny from Ham Radio, and I'm here to tell you guys, I need money. And I need money real bad. But I'm going to tell you guys how I can get money. You buy these, I take your money. So, how could you do this? You can simply go to hamradio.show. Description is in the link below. Fucking God. Dealing with a fuck. Things ready. What, what's going to be in the background? I want to fucking kill you right now. Can I see the audio actually moving? Hello? The commercial doesn't have the fucking mic muted. No. Which is what I was telling you. Oh, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. I thought you were saying the audios so are moving. when I pull the microphone, they could hear that. Yeah. All right. So in my perusal of TikTok, you could... I have articles in the show notes that you're going to have to be on. Because these... Yeah, might as well show the notes. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. We good. Why so, are you freaking out, bro? In my perusal of TikTok, I have realized that the youth has a brand new language. So, 
This is very common. As you age, you lose track of what the youth are saying because you're not necessarily aware of the things that they're saying. You're not aware of the culture as much as you were when you were younger, right? When I was younger, there were certain terms that if you use now, you'd get laughed at until they become relevant again. Yeah. When what terms were your era terms? Oh, I wanted to say it so bad right now. <laughs> what? I wanted to say it with the hard, the hard one. I'd be like, oh, back in my day. Mm. <laughs> there Damn. was uh, in one of the music festivals I went to in Orlando, um, we befriended this very white bread kid, like a very white bread raised in like fucking Iowa, uh, living in Orlando. And uh, I had a joke that the punchline is a very hard R. When I got to the punchline, I have never seen somebody freak out harder. Because here it's like, <laughs> a hello, here's a greeting. Yeah, we right? do hard ends all hey, the time here in Miami. Jim. Hey, and we're and it's to, to a different rate, black to white, white yeah. to black. And it's like, wait, it's like cool here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. hey, yo, so Except unless you go, if you go to the wrong one. No, whites to blacks all the time. Blacks to whites. I've never said the, the, I have white friends that every time I drop a hard end, they're like, what the fuck is it? But here it's more acceptable than in certain other places. Yeah, I guess here so. It's like okay. a, like a, in middle school, you hear it all the time. In high school, you hear it. It's like a, hey, mom, what's up, man? You know? <laughs> black eye. <laughs> My mom comes back. She goes, hey, what's up, man? You know? <laughs> so. Okay, but this joke happens to end with a hard R. He goes verbatim, what the fuck? <laughs> and I go, oh, wait, I forgot. You guys aren't used to that here in Orlando. All it takes is a 300 miles up, and then it's a whole different yeah, fucking dude, economy. Two counties up. So youth is, uh, the youth today, I think, has the worst fucking vernacular of any sort of generation of all time. Uh, back in my day, we had easy terms to understand, right? Like maybe the, the dog, yo, Ebonics were like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah. Sub dog, you know, yeah. uh, what's cracking. That's pretty fire. Lit fire. Lit was on the edge okay. of okay. my upbringing. Lit okay. was, I've been told, don't say that. Like, why not? That's crazy. Right? No, that's crazy is what you say to somebody when you're not fucking listening, <laughs> that's which crazy, is what you bro. fucking say. All that's you. Bro. Ass. Yesterday on a fucking phone, you fuck. What happened yesterday? I was telling you some, I was ranting, I'm sure, about some fucking shit we can't mention. <laughs> and then you go, listen, man, it is what it is, man. And I'm like, you didn't fucking hear what I said, motherfucker. You didn't hear what I fucking said, fuck. That's can I see true. myself, please? I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable. Oh, because I'm waiting on this thing. Okay, with not being able to see myself. I see you. What have, they been sh- what have you been you, showing boo. to them this entire time? You've you, been bro. showing the fucking merch. Yeah, okay. bro. So, Something, some good background. Okay, so the youth has terms that I fucking cannot stand. And I see this on TikTok. Usually before, I wouldn't be into the youth. I've never been into the youth. <laughs> what kind of youth are we talking about? Okay. Well, legal yeah. youth, legal youth. Okay, but uh, because of TikTok, you're, you're forced to go through and see fucking things that people say. The one that I hate the fucking most, this is the one that I hate the most, cap and no cap. Here's the thing, right? You could say, yeah, that's fucking bullshit. Okay. Right? It's universal. I don't know what this word means, by the way, but uh-huh. Okay. Well, you're going you're gonna to read it right now. So, bullshit, right? So, if I go, yeah, it's fucking bullshit, somebody from a different language could understand what it is that I'm saying, right? Because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, shit, it's bullshit. He probably means that that's probably not even real. There's no yeah. way that's real, right? When you hear the word cap, what the fuck comes to mind? Yeah. You know what? A hat? That, that fucking bottle is fucking good. Cap. That's, that's how you use it? Yeah. Or no cap. That fucking bottle tastes great. That's the proper way. Cap. No means, shit. Look, okay. Read it right here. The expression cap is meaning lie or bullshit. The expression no cap is meaning no lie or for real. No cap. That bottle is the best bottle I've ever had. How fucking retarded do I sound like right now? Yeah, it's pretty. Sad. I sound like a retard. And then here's the worst part. It's so forced. It's so fucking forced. When I say, yo, that's fucking bullshit. You understand what I mean? It's not. It almost seems natural when I go, yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I used to know a kid in middle school. I think I mentioned this before. He said his dad knew Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you believe him? Cap. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Sorry. No cap. See, I'm, I'm a fucking boomer now. No cap. He told me that his dad worked for Industrial Illusions, which is Pegasus's fucking company from Yu-Gi-Oh. A fucking anime. Fuck. <laughs> Stupid kid. He writes, you know what the worst part is? I don't know what any of this means. You know what this fucking, the worst what? part is? This kid works for the fucking, I think, uh, newspaper now. He works for the newspaper here. A dying industry. No, but like the, the fucking, I've seen his articles. Uh, as you would imagine. Yo, no cap. 
So look at it. You could, what do you mean? You see the definitions right here. So expression cap uh, meaning a liar bullshit, right? So if I, if I go, yeah, I could do that. No, no, you didn't do that. Cap. That's cap. That means that that's fucking bullshit. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, so no, no cap means that it's, yo, no cap. This is the best tequila ever. No cap. This isn't bullshit. This is the best. It's forced. So I've seen all these kids on fucking TikTok go, yo, that's cap. I'm like you sound like a functional retard. Actually, you sound like a dysfunctional retard. You sound like somebody that can't even function. So this is the one that every time I see. You're such a capper. I'm going to fucking cap you right now. See, that's how I, <laughs> when I grew up, when I wanted to cap something, if you wanted to cap something, what the, what did that mean? What does that mean to you? Yo, let's cap this motherfucker. Yeah. What's that mean? Let's, let's give that guy death. That means, hey, we're about to end your life, big guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. This is what my hair looks like right now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. For, so for like a poor person. What good. is this? Curls. That I got here. I look like I just dropped. I mean, the good a, thing that the green screen covers up your shitty hair. A Don Omar track right here. Look how long this is, by the way. I feel like Uncle Luke. You see that? Dude, your hair is fucking long as shit, bro. Is. Wow. This is curly shit. Hey, look at that guy I from look Star like Wars. A Native American. That's fucking <laughs> tremendous. Uh, so, yeah. So, here's the thing about this, right? I fucking hate this term because it doesn't make any fucking sense. I guess the reference. Yo, you're clapping right now, dog. I'm going to clap you right now. Oh, no, capping. Not clapping. Sorry. Okay. Clapping is fucking either fucking or fighting, right? Really? Clap. To clap someone? I've never said I'm going to clap that bitch in the ass. Okay, that's because we're off by like two generations in terms of... <laughs> I'm going to clap that bitch in the ass. Yeah, no, I'm going to make that bitch clap. I'm going to clap that ass. But see, that's different. That's, I'm going that, to clap that ass. Clapping is more... No, I, see, my, my clapping is for strippers. Okay. Someone like who's doing a stripper maneuver and is clapping that ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. You know what I realized I look like? I look like I, I sing in a... Um, in Prince's band? <laughs> no, I look like this. I look like I sing in a uh, 80s cover band. In the 80s. That's what I look like. This fucking do. You look like... A, I feel like you would be part of Prince's entourage. Maybe. I'll sing in, in the, the engineering. Huh? I'll sing it in my ears pierced. Purple... What? Yeah. You, hold on. Say it one more time. I'll sing it again in my ears pierced. Yo, you clap it right now, dog. You a clapper Cap. right now, dude. Cap. Oh, sorry. You're a fucking... You're a capper. Dog. You're such a capper, dog. Pierced. I wanted to get my ears pierced. Uh, with this hair, I think it would match. I think nose or ears? Ear, you fuck. My nose? I, I, I heard nose. That's if why I lost I my shit. I have my nose pierced, Daniel. I would fucking be like You have ass. every fucking right to grab your self-defense shotgun. <laughs> Don't fuck. I'll use it. And tell the cop. No, no, no. no, no. You think of getting two or one? I think the right. Just one? Yeah, which is the gay ear? For you? No, you're not. The joke, <laughs> you know what the joke is? I've always said the joke. Hey, which is the gay ear? Both. Don't get an earring. But I, I want to get an earring. I, I want to get a, um, uh, 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 my ears pierced. I think you should get both pierced. You really? You don't look like a one earring kind of guy. Like, looking at you right MJ now. MJ was a fucking... Yeah, bro, MJ, but MJ was also the fucking greatest basketball Stone player. Stone Cold. Of... <laughs> who are you? Who do you think you are, bro? I think I'm the MJ of fucking YouTube <laughs> you Magic you are, Tutorials. My dude? I think I'm the MJ of this YouTube Magic Tutorials, is dog. comparing himself to Stone Cold uh, Steve Austin. So, okay. So, no cap is fucking terrible. And every time I see it, I want to punch a fucking toddler. Uh, and here's the thing. There are so many terms that you could use. Better than this, right? Yeah. So retard, cap, no cap. Come me at Yo, lie, bullshit is one. Yeah. It's so easy. It's or, or 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 liar. Your on. I hope your mic's on. You fuck. Yeah, liar. Okay. Or that's not that's fucking okay. Yeah, that's a lie. For real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Baker. Do you have any comments so far? Any uh, comments? yeah, we have a shit ton. Uh, let me let me go over here. Hold on. I'm gonna get my uh, commentator voice. Okay. Uh, okay. But here's the thing. Every time I go, and I'm I on look, it. I'm on it. I've here. noticed. Oh wow. There's so many comments that you said. Well, no, no comments. So please look to them before okay. we move on. It says the production production level on this show is mesmerizing, which is pretty much true. <laughs> God. Uh, Piggy so baggered and stompert for current slang. Yeah. What are you, 1850s? I have no idea. That's either. racist because that's back when we used to own them, you know? <laughs> you can't be using terms like that. Fifth is having problems with uh, with YouTube apparently, where they're suppressing his uh, comments. Let's see. Uh, Finn says, "Capping meant a whole different thing in my generation." Thank you, cap meant. Yo, I'm a cap that dude. I scored drugs. Simple days. What? I guess it was more for drugs. I don't know what that means. Well, cap no cap is to fucking kill somebody. Essentially. Capping cap meant a whole different thing in my generation. I cap. scored drugs. I scored Simple drugs. Days. Yeah. Scored. All right. Yeah, this guy's from the fucking. I scored 70s. marijuana. 
I, uh, I today I, I enjoyed a very nice uh, marijuana cigarette. Enjoyed it. it was very nice. I I was higher than a kite. The fuck? <laughs> I score drugs. That's like slang. You fucking nuts. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, capitalize on it, piggy, and put it on merch. In other words, they're saying your style of how you do merch. No cap. No cap. Okay. Uh, oh. TikTok is just hundreds of thousands of old Chinese prisoners given hundreds of fake t- <laughs> tween accounts. That's true. I believe that. Yeah. And I some of them that. are <laughs> really fucking attractive. Let me tell you that. Uh, Hungry and Homer says, finally made it on, finally made it to a live edition of Ham Radio. Love hey, this show. Hope you're enjoying it, dog. This is a fucking fun one. I already want to off myself. Cap. <laughs> Sorry, no cap. No, what Did are you? See I how don't... hard it is? It's like, uh, you know what it is? It's like multiplying uh, negatives, right? Yeah. Oh, you multiply two negatives to get a positive. positive. Yeah. So when you're first learning that shit, you're like, but you don't understand it, right? Then you kind of like do the logic when you're older, but when you're younger, you're like, what? Negative's negative. You know what it's like? I, I don't, I'm not going to get virgin but I was going to say it's like when you're learning <laughs> like you did last night. reinforcement and punishment. Uh-huh. There's positive punishment and there's negative punishment. Okay. Positive, you assume, means good. Yeah. No. Ooh. Positive means the addition of something negative means the removal of something okay so i can have negative reinforcement okay which means i'm gonna reinforce your behavior by taking something away yeah right Uh so uh, i don't know let's say well yeah let's say i uh capped you right in a fucking kneecap (laughs) right (laughs) and i'm gonna reinforce your behavior of snitching on bitches by removing the cap from your knee that's negative uh negative reinforcement Wow. That was a tough How much example. money did you spend learning this fucking bullshit? I taught it. Wow. And then no you one, have no one negative. They fired your ass. No, they fired me because <laughs> I decided to say, hey, that money is uh, pretty sus where you guys got it, right? <laughs> Jesus. You know that, by the way, you know you're getting fired. Here's a life hack. If you go to your boss's uh, office and his table's fucking clean, you don't have to get fired. And there's one binder on the table. It's like, oh. That's crazy. All right. If I had a time machine, Right. If I had a time machine, I wouldn't, you know, uh, go back and fucking, oh, let me spend more time with my grandfather. Uh, I wouldn't do, oh, kill Hitler. No, I would go back to that meeting with a GoPro like this. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, for my own uh, personal documentation, I'm just going to hold my uh, camera here. I, I'm sure you guys aren't going to change your attitudes or behavior because of this camera, but I'm just going to have it here. Uh, what do you what do you say? Oh, um, <laughs> Can you speak clearly to the microphone? Yeah, this guy, I swear, he, he pulled up the bank account of this fucking school. You put up what? The bank account and how much money they had. Because to prove of, what? To prove that what I was talking was bullshit. Because what I... Yeah, but I'm that's not going to get to. Okay. So, but he showed me the bank account. I'm like, what? I asked him, like, I, I did this. I asked him, like, why are you showing me this? Like, that's not what I said. And he goes, yeah, because you, what you're saying it. I'm like, I never said that. So I, I went with the camera. Huh? Are these the records for the... <laughs> that's how much money you said you have? Okay, that's cool. What's that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It was fucking a lot of money. Like so millions? Like, like, yeah. Really? Yeah. Millions? Like in the end? Oh, million. Uh, like, wow. Two M's. Yeah, almost. Uh, oh. But for a fucking that school, I'm like. Not in, that's not that much money. You know how much money they fucking burn through that shit? I know. But yeah, but I, I'm aware of the finances. But I'm saying like, <laughs> it's just, it was weird for them to do. Okay? That's what I'm saying. I want to kick that. Now I'm angry. Now I'm angry about the fucking. <laughs> so, hold on. Is this just, just one word? There are several other words that I put on the fucking list. Okay. but. This is one of them, and this is the one that I fucking hate the most. Cap, no cap. If you're a youth and you say this in public, I will Goldberg spear you. Yes, I know. There are laws against that, right? I know. I can't prove that I was fucking, uh, I felt maybe like my life was in peril. But if I hear you as a youth, use the word cap and no cap. Unironically, I will Goldberg spear you. All right? Not Roman raid spear, not edge spear, which is like a fucking putting you to bed. I'm going to... Goldberg spear you, okay? So yes. just know that. That's my uh, official declaration. This next one is another one that I particularly fucking hate, which is Glizzy. I've seen this on TikTok a lot. I've seen this on forums a lot. Um, forums? You used to go to forums. So, but here's the thing. I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. So what can they see right now? Uh, two conjoint twins share. Oh, something else. Uh, they're looking at uh, the how definition of Glizzy. Okay. Well, how come I can oh, see Oh, because it? I have this here. This is okay. what they can see. So Glizzy is another one that I've seen uh, quite often. And uh, Glizzy is, uh, I, I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. So this says Glizzy could be short for Glock 
or also used for hot dog and weenie. What so the fuck I is think... Glock? Is that a gun? Yes. Is that what they're calling a Glock a glizzy? You'd call it that. Glizzy, maybe it's like a fucking Snoop Dogg way of saying gun. Okay. I think it's code for dick, and they're using hot dog or weenie as penis. So I think, oh, yeah, I'm going to give that girl some glizzy. Have you ever heard of a gayer way that a fucking straight male, or maybe gay, maybe gay male, even if it's gay, it's super gay. I'm so confused right now, dude. Yo, I'm going to give that girl glizzy. Yo, that dude's going to get glizzy. What? I'm so confused right now. So I think glizzy is a uh, young Low person key. speak for dick. That's so weird. Dick. Glizzies with extended clips. You hear that all the time in Chicago rap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So glizzy. Okay. Wow. That glizzy really? has a gun. But when did glizzy become cooler than Glock? Well, Glock is not necessarily a street term, is it? Yeah. Glock well, is a type of... you got choppers, street sweepers. Okay. Chopper is definitely a fucking street term. But a Glock <laughs> is the name of the fucking Glock. Shit, no? <laughs> like a Glock, yada, yada, yada. That would be official, like an official name, no? Well, okay. So Hangover, Hungry and Homer says, Glozzy, G-L-O-Z-Z-Y, used to mean a Glock. Okay. Well, now it's apparently Glizzy. It'd be short oh, wait, for, but then he says Glock. Glizzy used to mean a Glock. I guess, oh. I guess that's a term. Okay, but that makes sense, right? Glizzy, Glock, whatever. It's similar. It's still a terrible fucking word because the, uh, what is it? Assonance or consonance sounds like fucking shit that's with so too many fucking, Zs. God, the huentuesta de binga. Gli- huh? The huentuesta de binga. Okay. But, so, <laughs> hot dog, right? So, for my understanding, it's fucking, what the fuck? <laughs> is that? I told you, that's what they could say. Could you imagine having sex with a conjoined one? It's going to be weird. I could imagine getting my dick sucked. That'd be kind of fucking interesting. Yeah, but one, one could of, get the balls and one, oh, sorry, we're getting a little. One off of them's a prude. What if one of them's a prude and she's like, and the other one's like, <laughs> <laughs> just put your head next to the dude with the hot. That's dog. the gayest shit I've ever done. <laughs> I remember in middle school, I, I got a kudos bar, which is a, used to be like a small M and M's bar that resembled a small black person's dick. And uh, as a joke, my friend, I think I said this before, I did it. I put it in my mouth and I did this, like that, right? And a little black kid in uh, middle school, he goes, you know, that's gay, right? Like, yeah, that's why I did it, you fuck. You <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> fucking is, that how, is, 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 is that how he told you verbatim? Yeah, he goes, dude, you know, that's gay, right? I'm like, yeah, that's the joke. Damn, yo, Piggy, that gay, bro. No, he's like this big. Damn, <laughs> now, yo, Piggy, that thing. gay, yo. I think he went missing. <laughs> what? Like kidnapped? I think so. Like, much later on. I didn't know him in... Well, I mean, okay. I knew him in, in middle school. That makes sense. In high school, I think they... Kidnapped him. I think they capped his ass? Uh, he hasn't been back. Yo, so. no capping? I hope that guy's no, okay. They, cap, they probably capped him. Not cap. They capped him. So Glizzy is another retarded one that I fucking can't stand. And anytime I hear yeah, Glizzy, hey, I'm going to give this girl the Glizzy. It's like, what? Are you trying not to get fucking Glizzy sucked? Right? Are you trying not to? <laughs> Imagine a girl sucked. hearing you. Right? Imagine a girl. Imagine you use this word too much to the point where you incorporate it into the lovemaking, right? And you're like, "Hey, yo, sis, <laughs> salt that glizzy." <laughs> it's a fucking hot dog. If you need a glizzy, you could take mine. Pop okay. smoke on a real one, sharing that glizzy. Okay. And yo, but you could use context clues yeah. to show the similarity between a hot dog and a, a man's penis. I don't know, right? dude. This is this this is a this is. This is even harder to comprehend than cap. But you understand why it's fucking retarded. Well, because it's who the fuck says, yo, I'm going to stick my glizzy out and put it in your mouth. Well, I mean, I'm going to stick my dick in your mouth, bitch. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like dick and cock. I've heard girls that they don't like those. I've heard girls that like penis. They like the word penis. And I'm like, that's fucking weird. But there's nothing wrong with penis. Penis? Yo. Put your penis a- in my a- vagina? A- yeah, that's, a- that's a- pretty a- sexy. It's like my penis. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> no, nah, right? Sounds terrible. If I was a girl and you said, hey, man, suck my penis, I'm not going anywhere near your fucking small penis. Penis implies, like, medical. Penis is like, oh, let me, see, let me test your penis. Yeah. Let Whereas me see if it if works. It's like, like, if I'm a girl and some guy goes, like, <laughs> some guy goes, hey, dude, I'll suck my cock, I'll be like, all right. Like, I guess I'm going to have to get on his glizzy, right? So, glizzy, cap. Fucking atrocious. All right. Again, on yeah. TikTok. I mean, rampant. at this point, I would rather take Cap than Glizzy. I would rather have Glizzy than Cap. Cap to me, I should have start. Smart. I should have laid this out like 
I do for my little brother, which is, okay, let's start with the fucking one that's the most decent and then go to the worst one. The worst one is Cap. Okay. No I mean, cap. I disagree, but... No Cap, the worst one is Cap. But, I mean, I'm not going to fucking... Ah, yeah, fuck it. I made a TikTok about it, too. Uh, and the, the thing was, oh, normal people... And they got 5 million views. Look what it was. Normal people, and then I clicked on a Cap's lock, right? And then I put 2020 Nibbas or something. Uh, I put... I press the caps lock and then like I started losing it started losing its mind, right? And then it's like, okay, yeah, I get it. So the commenter were like, yo, no cap, that's funny. I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> no cap, that's funny. caps and caps lock, you get it. All right, caps, caps lock. Fuck. Uh so what's the next one? The next one here is that's cap, Daniel. That's cap. How about glow? Which is the next one? Oh, glow. Okay, I was about to fucking murder you. Bro, okay. get your shit together. Okay. So glow. Glow. Are you familiar with the term glow? No, not at all. Okay. So the slang terms glow and glowing and glow up is a noun which was coined by Chief Keef in Chicago. Let me tell you, I'm starting to see patterns here. That's from rap. Chicago. Okay. Chicago has some dumb mother, some some dumb heart ends. That wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the show get canceled? <laughs> uh, uh, so okay. So that says glow is used by many rappers. To represent being in a confident state of being. So, do you know what a glow up is? Is used by remember, to represent being in a confident state of being. What does it so even mean? A glow up, Daniel. A glow up is, let's say you're like, yo, fifth grade. Like, right? But then now you're a fucking college kid and you're here. You glow up. You had a glow up because you went from like a fucking, like a measly fucking thing to like a fucking square jawed Chad. Or as I call him, a pence. That's so that's, weird. That's funny. Oh. Uh, but yeah, but... That's, a glow that's crazy. So you had a... So you had a glow up, essentially. Well, you had a fucking glow down, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, a, so that's glow. So uh, when, you, when you see somebody say, hey, look at my glow up, right? And the worst part is that it's like, okay, so it's pre-puberty when you're all fucking like fucked up. During puberty when you're fucked up because your homos are going, what the fuck? And then post puberty, when you're like, all right, now this is what you're gonna look like for the rest of your life, life yeah. right? So then that's, that's I'm like, that's cheating. <laughs> that's fucking cheating. What are the comments? <laughs> so uh, the 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 first one that's funny goes, uh, the magic butt says, "Piggy never glowed up." LOL. Because <laughs> of the height. <laughs> okay. So uh, hungry and Homer says, "Glizzy banger chopper burner etc." All came from hip hop as slangs for guns. Also, the stick, the heater, etc. There's tons of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, but Gliz is just fucking, I don't know. Maybe it's our generation. I like Chopper. Well, Street Sweeper. Nelly said that one. Okay. Yeah, but Chopper, it sounds exactly get like Get in the what chopper! Or get the choppers! Chopper is the guns that my people used, which is the ones they would hide in the desert and take it out, and it would still work. The uh, AK. AKs. AK 47s. Which, by the way, how the fuck do hood people. Have access to AK forty sevens. You can get them anywhere. It's the it's the most it's like the most widely known gun in the world, dude. A Russian machine gun. I could go right now in the black market here in Miami and buy a. You don't a have fucking... to go to black market. You just go to a fucking gun store and get an AK forty seven. Yeah, yeah, bro. No yeah, dude. Oh, I thought there was like a. No way, dude. Okay, I thought maybe any any, any hard end could get a street sweeper. Can I get a, one of these? A fucking self defense grenade. So you you can and you can't. Okay. You can with the right licenses. Okay. Yeah, but to get those licenses, I'm sure you have to... And your information. It's really not that hard. Not, okay. I, mean, I, I mean, there's some... It's, the weird ones is, as long as you have a corporation, you can kind of uh -huh. justify a bunch of shit. Or uh -huh. get sort of... It's, it's like, like, like dynamite certification. Okay. Yeah, Top 10 need. videos before tragedy. Right here, this one. <laughs> Big Cake went in self-defense grenade his former employer. Uh, so, okay. What else? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted here. Um, Big Hand says, my IQ is dropping hearing these terms. Oh, I agree. Bad. They're pretty fucking. You are not lying. I imagine what I had to deal with. I had to fucking look these up, get angry, fucking look up the fucking <laughs> stupid terms. I feel like you, you waking up got you angry. Yeah, especially <laughs> yesterday. Uh, the other one is easy now. Uh, I'm from Chicago, and Trump won't visit here. Yeah, neither would I. I don't think people should live there. I feel like the Sh meme listen, Sh Shy Town is beautiful, but why would anyone live in, in a place where guns are not allowed, but gangsters are allowed to have guns? Well, I mean, you throw away the trash, and then on the way to throw away the trash, it's like, we lost another one. Yeah, bro. 
Like they have so many babies there it's because so st- oh, just send him to get the. He's the least favorite one <laughs> of the family. <laughs> he's the new one. He's the one that we have to take yeah, care of the most. Have him throw away the trash, and then he gets mowed down. He, uh, no cap. <laughs> Sis says, "Y'all remember that word, gat? Gat. <laughs> Y'all oh, get you know the gat. You know it's another one I got growing up. Cuh. Cuh. Yeah, I mean I still use cuh. What's up, cuh? What's up, cuh? Which right. stands for what, cousin? Yeah, but cousin like in a gang sense. Like cousin? that's my brother. Yeah, like sup, cuh." That's when I got in middle school. What's up, school. brother? I, I'm not really a brother. Uh, but what's, what's the one that he said? What? Gat? Gat. Gat. Yeah, Gator got his gat. That's the other one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Yo, yeah. I'm going to get my... Hey, yo, slow down. I'm going to get my gat. Get your gat. Yo, I'm going to whip on my gat and put it down your throat. I like the enunciation of all the words. Instead yeah. of like, yo, ma'am, pop a gat. You know, for, for, for me, it's hold up. I'm going to go get my gat. Get my, my, uh, my gat. And I pop a... Let me uh, double press my key to pop my hood. Pop an N. Or a W. <laughs> right? Equal opportunity. A BMW. Uh, Big Hand says, most inaccurate gun ever. Yeah, AK. It's true. It's an inaccurate gun. But let me tell you, bro. It's the only one that's going to work in the desert. Or in, in the, the ocean. The hood. Or in the hood. It's going to work anywhere, dude. The it's going to work hood, anywhere. The urban, urban jungle known as the hood. Uh, they're fake AKs. Easy to make. Yeah, bro. AK, AK is such a simple gun, dude. It's well, such a stupid, like a be. Glock. Glock and AKs are the most simple guns that just, they just always work. Osama. Whether they're accurate is a different story, but they, they just work. Yeah, that picture of Osama with an AK like this. Like, yo, that's a fucking endorsement. If that's I've a ever gangster seen motherfucker. Right? You could buy those AK after, after the Soviet War. Hmm. Dude, those fucking guns, they just had stock piles of that father. shit, bro. Hey, father, could you get me an AK-47 <laughs> for my fucking delayed birthday, you fuck? <laughs> Reply to his email, bro. They send the wrong fucking day. So, go ahead. That's it. That's all we got. I swear to God, I'm going to find more fucking comments there. So, Glow Up is pretty atrocious. Glow, uh, it's not as bad as Cap. Cap is the worst see, one. See, but out of all of them, I think Glow Up is the one I like the most. I can see me using Glow, glow Up. up right? Glowing like, oh, Up. Yo, I glow, glow up, up, baby. Had a Glow Up. Uh, do they use it in a sentence there? Glow means to be your most confident state of being. Glowing means to be looking really attractive. Glowed Up means to be better than before. Yeah, so this... What does entanglement mean? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's what they do when you uh yeah, this is not even a hood term. Vice. What's a vice? A vice is something that you're fucking like, yeah, a bad habit of something you're addicted to. Okay, so what's the last one I have on the list? I think I have one more. I'm not even sure. Uh glow and then words to look for. This is great. Okay, so from time to time we get this. Now, whenever parents are trying to figure out what it is their kids are saying or what it is that they're talking about, you always have the fucking news come in or these fucking terrible, stupid mommy blogs come out. <laughs> mommy where, blogs? Yeah, it's like, uh, this is why you should use cloth diapers. Oh, because you're a gross bitch and you want to have shit in your fucking washing machine? So, this is a website called Very Well Family. And the intent of this particular article is to show parents terms that may be used by the youth. So, we're going to scroll through this and see what they define. Because this is, listen, kind of whites, all right? I know that they got a lot of shtick. <laughs> all right, I'm a fan of whites. That's okay, crazy. this is the whitest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, that's okay? some, that's some so white ass shit. Uh, uh, people think I'm white. That's bashing. the most wicked thing I've seen all day. I'm a huge fan of whites. Okay, huge fan, huge fan of whites. <laughs> okay, so let's go down here. Could you imagine? All right. Oh, hey, Pig Cave. We saw your name come up on a fucking alt <laughs> alternative. Okay, so these are the ones they have. Scroll up, scroll up, real quick. Okay. I get you. Okay. okay no, you could. Good. good here. You could. No, okay. scroll or down or whatnot. Okay, so general, right? So these are uh, teen slangs that may be confusing to those not in the know, but most are harmless. So these are the harmless ones, right? So you got, yo, dope. Cool or awesome. Yo, that's that's dope, right? <laughs> dope. Go. Greatest of all time. I just found that one out not too long ago, by the way. You're a retard. Okay, so we have Gucci. Gucci's another one that I grew up with. I use Gucci all the yeah, time. I'm Gucci right now. I'm Gucci. Yo, I taught you that. Gucci. Hey, yo, girl, what's up with that, man? Yeah, I get that Gucci. No, okay. That doesn't work well. Uh, lit, right? Oh, my God. Salty. These are normal ones. What I love is the fucking white definitions, though. Fire. Hot, trendy. Amazing. TBH, right? T is one that I've learned recently. That's one that I've learned recently. Oh, really? I didn't know. I said, I don't know that one. T is like, like cheese, man. Like fucking oh. juice. Uh, and then we got YOLO. You only live once. You know how many fucking retards died because of this right here? Yeah. They went YOLO, and then what's what's the actual meaning of the song? Yeah, you only live once, so embrace 
the life that you have. Not throw it away because you only live once. Used. <laughs> Often used. Ironically. Ironically, yeah, like a fucking <laughs> retard. Yo, YOLO. I uh, love how they said often use ironic. Let me just redline a fucking Ford freestyle. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so scroll down. So people are relationships. So relationships are part. Let me see how they define those. Go up, up, up. So it says relationships are an important part of adolescence and teen years. Kids develop their own identities. So I think these are. Wow, the explanation is phenomenal, right? The implication here is these are the ones that you should watch out for. Because if they use any of these terms, you know, they might be fucking getting their glizzy sucked by <laughs> Samantha. From no cap. Family, right? No cap. So here you got Bay before anyone else. Bay is one that I fucking Really? Hate is that what it stands for? Yeah. I did not know that. I thought it was just Babe. Like, hey, Babe. No, no, like it's Bay. Like it's, it's not with the B. Bay, uh, Bay. When Bay says this, if you use Bay on ironically, you're going to get fucking Goldberg Spear from me. And if you're ever in, in front of me, I swear to God. Uh, Craig Petty, who's a magician, had a rant uh, a day ago about uh, conventions, magic conventions. Right, mm -hmm. and then one of the rants that he has was on deodorant, obviously, because yeah. the scent Use of magic it, conventions is pretty fucking rough. Um, and then uh, the other one was on people th stealing. I was gonna say stealing. Control your speak. <laughs> My gay accent was gonna come out. Uh, and then uh, one or people stealing because people steal magicians, virgin losers steal from the stands. Could you imagine? What do you mean the stands? Stand, like the, the display stands. They steal from that shit. Really? Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. You're fucking loser virgins. I mean, I'm, I'm okay uh, with that, though. I don't think so. Uh, so the other one that he was talking about was uh, clicks, right? So, oh, they're too tight-knit. I don't know where I'm getting from this shit. I, I guess uh, Bay before anyone else. How did that fucking remind me of that? I don't know. But uh, he was talking about clicks, right? And how uh, people are like within their little tight community. Yeah. Spread out, bro. Thing. I left a little comment Spread that I think love. is more accurate. Magicians are in their cliques, right? So you do have that. The magicians are in the little tight knit circle, and then it's hard for anybody to come in outside of the clique and then come in and try to interact, right? But at the same time, I think that the majority of the people trying to interact are also fucking retards that don't know how to interact properly, right? So they'll just come in and they'll just stand there awkwardly, as opposed to going, "Hey, hi, my name's you know yada yada yada. I'm very interested in this. You guys." Mind so yada, let now. me ask you a question, bro. Yeah. But the cliques, cliques are kind of like kind of kind of a part of of an everyday cliques thing. Cliques are though. good. Yeah. Right. Cliques yeah. are good. But here's the thing. I think that. The majority of the issue is not within the click. I think the majority of the issue is that fucking magicians don't know how to properly socially interact. Yeah. So they don't understand eye contact. You know, you're shaking hands, eye contact. They don't understand. Yeah, what's up, cuz? Excuse me. No cap. Good to meet you. Actually, the other day, you know what? Uh, I forgot where I was ranting, uh, where I was going, but some bitch ran into me. I think it was Party City. I was looking for Pokemon cards in Party City. And some fucking bitch bumps into me and doesn't say, excuse me. She just kind of like pushed us aside and kept walking. I'm like, Really? She obviously didn't speak English, but she doesn't know what it really means. David Da? But I'm like, what the fuck kind of rude bullshit is that? Yeah, Again, it's Miami. social thing. Just, excuse me, I want to pass by here. Yeah. All right, yeah, of course. I'll fucking hold your back for you. But no, just fuck you, you fucking dumb bitch. A whole rant on that with uh, Caesar. Uh, so, Bay. Terrible. It's fucking Basic. atrocious. Before anyone else, what are you, you're missing a letter. But before anyone else, see, I, I always thought Bay was just a lazy way. That's saying Bay. Yeah. Right? But no, it's before anyone else. So it's like, oh, yeah, you're, you're great. You're great before anyone else. Stupid. But they use it interchangeably with Bay. They don't use it interchangeably with before anybody else. No, I've never heard before anyone else. I, I always assumed it was babe or baby. Or you used to describe boyfriend, girlfriend, which is true. BFGF. BFF. Basic. I like this one. Bruh. I like the specificity of this. By All the way. terms are gender neutral. All right. All right. <laughs> cool. The women from the. Oh, look, they got cap in there, bro. They, they got made cap? It to the list. Yo, hey, cap, fake or lie. Parents, make sure to watch your fucking kids. They say cap. So they go, hey, man, I got a score of marijuana cigarettes. No cap. No cap. That means that. Well, actually, they don't say no cap here. Oh, <laughs> yo, this fucking mommy blog. They did their research. This is fucking Fuck. great. Uh, so fam, right? Sub fam. Flex. These are good. By yeah. the way, I like those. Uh, yeah. Flex. Yo, I'm a flex in that dude. I was about to say the word that I can't say. Uh, I'm African. I can say. Move to your uh, right a little bit. No, your other right. Stage you're right. Fucking retard. Stage right. Okay. Flex is cool. Emo makes sense. Emo. You always have an emo kid, right? Curve. Curve Someone is who is emotional or a drama queen. I like curve. I like swerve. <laughs> swerve is like, yo, I swerved that dude. Like, I swerved that fat girl that grabbed my dick at the fucking bar once. I swerve. I've never heard curve in my life. 
Curb, to reject someone romantically yeah. related to ghosting. See, ghosting. Yeah. Ghosting is dope. A Karen. A disparaging way. Look at, by the way. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Here's how you know who wrote this. A Karen. Here's how you know. Scroll up. Scroll up. Oh, down. Ugh, down, whatever. You know what I fucking mean. So look at all these, right? You see the length of all these definitions? Get to the point. Get to the point, right? Look at the fucking length of Karen. Look at the <laughs> length of Karen. <laughs> Read These it, motherfuckers are like, a Karen is a disparaging way to describe a petty middle-aged woman who is rude, especially to people who work in a service industry. For example, saying, what a Karen about someone who returns their drink at a restaurant for not having enough ice. I remember what I was going to talk about, the uh, strip club incident. Mm -hmm. The thing about these fucking Karens is that they don't see people that work in the service industry as people. As people. Cool. So yeah. they come up to you. Let me get your fucking. It's like we're people. We're dealing. It's like with I told you. Instead of and she's a managers should not get emotional. And I'm like, yeah, human we're, first lady. Exactly. So she's like, who talk like that? It's like we do. You humans, do. humans do. You've yeah. lost your cool many times, bitch. Exactly. I understand. Yeah, fucking you're supposed to have a level bitch. of professionalism, but at the same time, it's none of your fucking business. Yeah, bro. Especially the people are like, no, no, we good, we good, right? So that's why every time I, I, I'm always very, I always clean the tables. When I'm sitting at a restaurant, I fucking get a napkin. I clean the fucking table. We have table. a good question. I stack the dishes. I'm always, because my grandmother used to fucking work. My yeah, used to bro, be, like, it, it's also respect. You know what? Uh, the other day at the strip club, Push the chair uh, some, lady, some lady was picking up a condom that she was going to go use with one of the clients. And uh, she got the next one that was behind it and brought it back to the front. Okay. Like, that's respectful. You know, she's, uh, she's facing. Oh, what the fuck do you mean? Well, because people pick up shit from the stores. And they don't bring the one that's in the back and move forward. Okay. Same thing with this. Okay. I guess. That's etiquette. Because you know that's the one less thing someone has to do. Etiquette. What did I say? Etiquette. I said etiquette. God, you're a fucking <laughs> actual retard. What's the fucking question? Uh, is Karen only directed to one gender? Yes. Mm. Karen, and then there's another one which we don't know because Jerry. the name of males are different for that. You're yeah, not going to better. Find it's a very specific, like, Frank, would Frank work? Right? Yeah. So, but a Karen, you could visualize a Karen. Like, you could see a Karen in your fucking head. Whereas, if I say a Jerry, you're like, what's that? Okay, so. But these, uh, 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 someone says, I'm going to uh -huh. scoot you over here to the, to the left, screen, uh, stage left a little I bit. I can't see the fucking screen now, then. I know, but I want you to see, hold on, I want you to see the ad. Apparently, there's something up with this ad. Up with the ad? I don't know. Okay, so it's obviously the one that's visible, that one. Startup Shifts Retirement Game. Okay. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't understand. Looking at a bunch of 6.2s right, right I now. Guess, I guess it was funny. Okay. All right, we're moving back. So, uh, so, Karen, you can tell who wrote this because Karen is the longest one. This one's new, period. Dit. Right? End of statement emphasizer. For example, that's the best ice cream, period. Dit. That's retarded. Yeah, that's a little bit That's funny. the stupidest one. Uh, okay, you know what? is one that I fucking hate, too. A uh, ship is fucking terrible. Yo, I ship that. I ship that. I could see the... It's like you're saying that it's... it's you could see the connection between those two things, right? It's like fucking... You know what it is? It's Tumblr talk. It's like, yo, I, I ship that. It's like, yeah, you're... Okay. I don't get it. Uh, noob, I like noob. We grew up with noob. Yeah. All right, we grew up with noob. Yeah, if but you, that, that came out from the fucking gamer days. If you fucked... If you fucking missed a shot in Call of Duty, fucking noob. Fucking loser. Uh, ship, terrible. Shook is all right. Squad, eh. Sus is another one that yep. I like. I yep. like sus. Because like, yo, that's... Sus. By the way, these fucking loser kids now think that they invented fucking sus. No, bro. Get out of this, oh, bro. Oh, sus. That's sus. Because now sus means like, like gay, essentially. Like, yo, dude, that guy's acting mad sus. Means, oh, he's fucking trying to... <laughs> Piggy ship has sailed. Piggy ship has sailed. Fucking cunt. Uh, <laughs> so sus, like, yo, Danny's acting mad sus. Means, oh, dude, this guy's trying to hold my hand or some shit. Right? Like, really? Wow. Mean. So the new generation has, have turned it. Yeah, they're homophobic, right? They're scared of them. Damn, yo. Uh, need, but need to sus be is like, yeah, I'm not going to go down that corner. That corner's fucking sus, right? Yeah. Uh, throw shade. Throw, sh throw shade. But then let's, let's go down to see if there's any, like, qualifications for the real ones that you should be afraid of. Uh, compound slang. Hold up. Teens often create shortcuts by combining two words together to understand what they mean. You need to know the definition of each word. Crashy. I've never fucking heard that. Crunk. Oh, yeah, I know crunk. I, get, I used crunk. to get crunk a lot. When you do drugs and booze at the same time, you're getting you say, crunk. You say, I'm going to get crunk, you're oh, a fucking retard. I've said retard. crunk many times. Yeah, and I, I stand by my statement. <laughs> uh, Requestion. What? I can't even fucking breathe right now because of a request. What's tope? 
tight and dope. That's so stupid. If I say you, dude, that's dope. You know what you're going to get? Doing, bro. You're gonna get one of those. The, the fucking slowest, hardest slap of your fucking stupid dope life. Uh, okay, this is great. I love this one because this is like this is what you should watch out for. Sex. This right here. Oh, five shit. three X. Yo, that's sex right there. So See if you're you kids for sending sex? That, what? I've never seen that. Let me tell you, bro, I should look up beeper codes. The beeper codes is how we used to communicate back in the day. Hold up. I just saw a dagger or dager. Like a rager. Party during, during the day. day. No, dagger is a gay guy trying to fuck you. Like, yo, that guy's trying to fuck me with his dagger. <laughs> right? Or his gager. <laughs> right? But dager. That's a stupid That's a shit. Who? Dude, it's a party. It doesn't matter what time of day. Party doesn't have a fucking oh, time specific. Love, hey, kickback. We're going to have a kickback. A small party. a small party. Yo, we had a kickback at Karen's house the other day. Dude, shit got mad heavy. <laughs> it uh, was taupe. Molly. This is, I mean, apparent. Oh, this one is the one that they're like, if you ever have a kid sending a girl that he wants to Netflix and chill. Used as a front for inviting someone over to make out or maybe more. Or Look at maybe, the maybe more. more. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so if you hear your, your son, Jonathan, going, hey, uh, mom, uh, Samantha's going to come over. We're just going to watch Netflix and chill. You know what I'm saying? The mom's going to go, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> Type on the fucking website. <laughs> she's going to scroll down and she's going to go. You are not inviting Samantha over for Netflix and chill. I read that that is a teenage term for sexual intercourse. And I refuse to have the sanctity of this house ruined. You're waiting till marriage, Jonathan. Uh, Rager, that makes sense. Smash is another one that I've seen used a lot more to now. Have ca- How is Smash to have casual sex? I feel Smash is like Yo, a fucking... Sm- you know which other one I see that the kids think that it only came up with it? Railed. And girls are... The worst part is that you have... 17-year-old, 18-year-old girls on TikTok like, I just got real, so I'm walking different. And then the, the TikTok <laughs> is just terrible. I'm like, ew, you fuck, you child. Jesus. God, wait a year. What? Wait a year. Like 17-year-olds. What are you hating, bro? Wait a fucking year, man. Fuck, before man. you're here talking about getting railed. Call me. So uh, we have... <laughs> after that year passes, call me. Uh, we have a, a smash sloshed, right? The plug slushed to be drunk. That's kind of why sloshed like oh, I'm sloshed, right? Now, whatever the plug wasted, makes sense. Wasted is the one that I would use. Yo, I'm yeah. fucking or I'm Chocolate hammered. wasted. I'm fucking hammered right now. Chocolate I said wasted. that yesterday. I'm like, wow, fucking hammered. You're a funny drunk, by the way. I'm the same. You, you are. No, no. The virginity came out in you. That's not a little How the bro. fuck virginity? We're talking about dicks yesterday. Okay. Okay. So throw down. No, throw down means to fight, you fuck. Yeah, bro. Someone, yeah. Turnt. And then uh, hold up. Here's one that I've seen on Tinder way too fucking much, and it gets me aggravated. Looking for a plug. Yeah. Looking for a plug. Well, Someone that I, supplies alcohol and I've never. I've, well, I guess if you're underage, right? You try and get the drugs. You try and get, get the, the. No, even if you're the overage, you're, you're a dumb twenty-three year old fucking whore looking yeah, I'm for. I'm trying to get uh, some alcohol, guys. A plug. And you're like, hey, I, <laughs> I'm the plug, I guess, but you think it's sexual. Rape. No, it's. Drugs. You're looking for a drug dealer on TikTok. X. Turned. Ecstasy. I uh, want to trade photos. I've never seen that in my entire fucking life. Uh, that was a thing back in the day for uh, like on. Rapist chats? Like when you're. Like early, early face. What was it? Like um, mm. not message boards. Uh, what do you yeah. call that shit? Like, I, catch a predator? Hold on, bro. What was the fucking. Aim? Aim. Yeah. Like, like what do you call it? Um, uh, MSN. Yeah, bro, but fuck. Chat rooms. Yeah. That was the thing on chat rooms yeah, back in the day. Talking God, to if it. you guys know what chat rooms is, bro. 47-year-old man that's going to meet you fuck, by the park. bro. With a bag full of condoms and fucking... <laughs> Chocolate. Why do you have... You, you just came to talk to Jonathan. Why are you? Why do you have box wine and condoms? No, no, no we were going to talk. Yeah, but you look like you want to fuck a hot 11-year-old boy. <laughs> okay. Go down. Can't say hot 11. Resources. Desmond is amazing. They, they, talk, they call that... Uh, have you seen this kid? Ooh. He's like an 11 year old kid that's like a drag queen, but he's like 11. They're throwing money at him. He's like shaking his ass for like kids. And if people could call that little kid hot, I could fucking call 11 year old boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, so hold up. A word from very well. What the fuck is this? Okay. So that's the end of the article. 
Uh, so I love these mommy blogs. I love reading these because how to these... raise a happy, healthy teen. <laughs> and you have, uh, I mean, uh, where's that? I don't see dad there. Oh, right. Uh, I have a father. I could say it. Okay. But uh, so I love these. I love reading these because it's a bunch of like these fucking winos, right? That they're like, we're going to inform the rest of the moms what to look out for in their teenage. This is definitely a mom thing. I don't think I'd ever, as a, as a dad, I don't think I'll ever look any of this stuff up. Yeah, if it comes back on you, right? If you're, oh, dad, I got to grow pregnant. Fuck. Yeah, but that's different, dude. I would teach my, my child a little better than that. Yeah, to, to not stick his yeah, dinky and fucking pull out crazy. Better. Okay, you're going to teach her. Okay, that's <laughs> sus. That's mad sus. Uh, let's see the that comments. So, what are the comments? so bad. Um, Piggy is into cuties. That's what that's that says. That's fucking ridiculous. Uh, that movie. With the, the French girls that were fucking like twerking and shit. And then my favorite thing is that you have a bunch of like reviewers that are like, yeah, it got me hard. <laughs> this guy went on YouTube, fucking turned on the 4K feature on his camera because it was a like tremendous production value. And he goes, cuties did what it was intended to do to me. It uh, turned me on. And uh, I think it was supposed to do that. No, the fuck it wasn't. <laughs> I never saw cuties. I don't know what 25 that is. 25 year old. It's a movie about fucking these French girls twerking and shit. Okay. I guess I had like a message, but... I mean, okay, you're having, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know what it is? It's like uh, you're trying to prove that someone's gay, right? And, and you have them, you suck their dick. And then you go, yeah, you, it was a joke. You're fucking gay, you know? Like, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, uh, we're going to have these 11-year-old girls twerking, yeah. right? Is that what it was, cuties? Yeah, it was a movie about, like, girls finding their way through, you know, their hormonal needs and wants and shit. But in the movie, you're showing, like, girls in provocative positions that's so weird and the whole reviews all the fucking reviews came out and they're like yeah but there's a good thing because yeah, 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 you're sexualizing young girls that's super that's weird. what the and then you had this one reviewer on youtube that's like very provocative uh there were several scenes where i found myself a little bit of ar aroused but i think that was the point of the movie and then he defended that and then it's like what you fucking that's fucking weird bro. yeah okay so yeah no throw down means uh to throw a party Laughing out loud. Throw down means to fist fight. Fist fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw down with that fucking. Yeah. Compound slang words is such a white thing to write. Right? <laughs> These are combinations of words that uh, teens may use. Teens are known for their propensity of combining words. Like, all right. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Sus is silk and SpongeBob magicians. Yeah. That's our sus. Okay, I thought you were trying to, like, make it stand for something. But, yeah, sus is pretty fucking uh, universal, and I like that it's been around forever, but I hate that the fucking youth thinks that, oh, we came up with these. No, you fucking didn't. No, you fucking didn't. Well, people like this guy right here, innovators, all right, in the compound word market. <laughs> so. uh, I thought Cuties was a show on Netflix of 10-year-old girls twerking. Very it's disturbing. It's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. I don't yeah. know what it is. It's a movie about uh, I think I'm think actually glad I don't know what the like fuck is. Like a black that French is, girl, or like an Arabic French girl, and I know they have like a like European. Yeah, but European has different standards though. I know, but they're going through like it's it's like obviously they're they're seeing all. I'm the not girls defending it though. I'm just saying Europeans impressed. are different than us. So I guess I mean, you know, it's a fucking weird situation. But what, what's funny is that obviously the I, I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes any fucking more. Like I've never uh, I've never liked reviews because like if it, it's subjective. Yeah. Right. So if somebody made a fine. Nobody could objectively define a great movie. I could find these fucking movies that are, you know, uh, everybody says are great. Gone with the Wind, you know, all these classics, Casablanca. They're fucking trash. Yeah. Right? But that's me. Universally, people are like, oh, this is the greatest movie ever made. Not the fucking me. So you really can't define that. So you're I mean, well, Casablanca was pretty good. Okay, but I'm saying like for, for fucking cuties. But cuties, 100%. Rotten Tomatoes. Like, oh, it's a coming of age film about young girls trying to find their way through twerking. Okay, all right, that's a little bit sus, don't you say? Uh, so what are you doing? Uh, we have a voicemail, so I'm getting ready for a voicemail. Okay, well, how about you fucking read the rest of the comments? Uh, I, I didn't want to interrupt your, okay. your, your thing. Okay. Uh, Sif says, voicemail. Okay. Okay, and I think we're done. There's no fucking way. Oh, hold on, hold on. Gone with the wind was trash? Question mark. Yeah. Gone Which one's gone with the wind? Uh, um, I don't know, I keep getting it mixed up with uh, Casablanca. Uh... I don't know the one. It was based on a book, right? Yeah. It's based on a book. I'm trying to remember the actual actors in a fucking movie. But right now, I'm drawing a blank on that. But all these movies that are traditionally uh, referred to as like the greatest movies of all fucking time. Like, it's, yeah, bro, of, of the era. 
No, not they're they're like Casablanca. They say, "Oh, you should study this." For, no, I fucking shouldn't. Well, I mean, I, I like I was looking at some shit today, and I'm trying to start in you know cinematology. Your boy's trying to make a cinematology. Fuck. You're but trying I, to do cinematology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should definitely get into cinematology. <laughs> it's a great thing. Right. I think you'd be the only one in the planet. Hey, bro. I'm, so I'm learning from the, all these different, you know, famous directors and stuff You're like that. You're wearing some other fucking dude in the hood. Like, dude, I really want to get into some cinematology right now, dude. I got a camera. I'm going to be the next uh, Martin Waynes. Let's go back to the fucking... Do we have any other fucking questions about sus? Any words? That's no. it? Let's go back to the fucking sit down. Hey, this is Danny from Ham Radio, and I'm here to tell you guys, I need money. And I need money real bad. But I'm going to tell you guys how I can get money. You buy these, I take your money. So, how could you do this? You can simply go to hamradio.show. Description is in the link below. The audio okay. is working. Ooh, you, you saw that? Huh? Okay. Uh, what the fuck was I going to say? Did you show the same ad twice? Uh, yes. It was already, it was already set Seven up. Seven ads, and then you're like, I'm not sure. I, want I to didn't select it. it. I didn't select it. Uh, okay, so you said we had a voicemail? Yeah. I'm if still, you want to leave a voicemail, anchor.fm slash radio show. So what were you doing the time that the what? fucking commercial was showing? I was looking at myself. Make sure that my mannerisms were good and stuff like that. Okay. So if you want to leave a voicemail, the link is in the description below where you could check out how to leave a voicemail. And we'll respond to it ostensibly live on the show, which means that uh, first time uh, we hear it is the first time that uh, we respond to it, yep. right? Is this? That is nuts. Okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. Pause it. They can't hear that. They can't hear that. Nope. I was going to say. But yeah, you didn't set it up. How much you want to bet it's going to say default? It's, oh, it's. Hold on, bro. You're making me nervous, dude. Properties. In capture. Hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fucking find the nearest school right now. Let See, me tell default. you, bro. You, you're making me nervous, bro. Default. You're making me nervous, bro. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Not your IT, ITT tech fucking C++. 9 plus 7 fucking degree. How do you start this over? Okay. How do you start uh, this over? Texted. Here we go. Gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, as to what Piggy and Danny were talking about. Big red hey. flag was a seven eleven. Uh, I think none of that played. What do you mean? Because when I put the double cameras, hold on, I gotta fucking. I fucking see the moving levels. Not on this one. I saw the moving levels on audio Oppo capture. Yeah. Yes. Look, I don't see it. No audio. Production level is awesome. What are you fucking... What? I don't understand. Well, hold on. Hold on. Time out. Because what happens is when I switch over to this, hey, the video plays. This is Danny from Ham Radio. Why did you switch and over I'm to, to that, Daniel? Guys... Bro, let me stop this. Okay, there we go. So, so I can be part of it. All right. All right. Hold on. We're starting over again. Wait. Y'all have a good one. That was a fucking like a Gentlemen, five minute... Gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, As to what Piggy and Danny were talking about, uh, basically ghosting people when you get... uh texted 
Uh, this happened to me, I want to say about a year ago, when uh, <clears throat> I guess we had an active shooter in my town. <laughs> And I had taken a nap and I was asleep for, I don't know, let's say two and a half hours. And when I woke up, I went to the store. I did, I did find it strange that there was no traffic when I went to the store. And also big red flag was a 7-Eleven was closed. So I went back home and checked my phone. And yeah, I had about a hundred missed texts, a hundred missed calls where people were freaking out thinking that I, uh, I was a victim, but I wasn't <laughs> either way. Y'all have a good one. Okay. So let me ask you a fucking question. Scroll down to make sure the audio is working on the mic. It's working. So when you went to that and you changed it, and I saw the audio levels move, what changed between that and the five seconds after you played the voice? It's now? a different scene. So when I click on the double camera like this, okay. you see the audio down here? I'm going to shoot up a... F okay. So, uh, well, that's not ghosting. That's not ghosting. Ghosting is when you're texting a hoe and she doesn't respond. That's when you got ghosted. Yeah. So when you're texting or when a you, hoe. Or when you uh, sleep with a thought mm -hmm. and then you don't call her back. It's ghosting. That's ghosting, yeah, because you ghosted her. So it's, it's equal opportunity. Uh, but, yeah, what you did was uh, <laughs> you fucking re you went full retard. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're not going to wake up and be like, yeah, I wonder if there's an active shooter in the scene. Uh, let me check the news and make sure. So you're not gonna you're gonna go to 7-Eleven. Although, let me tell you about the hardworking individuals at 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's good hurricanes are still open. 9-11, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure all 7-Elevens, none of them closed, even the ones in proximity to the towers. Uh, any sort of conflict, there's always one guarantee that 7-Elevens are gonna open, unless there's a shooting within a 7-Eleven. Yeah. In which case, they're gonna be closed for 20 minutes. Yeah. They wipe the blood. They're gonna clean the blood. Put the blood. Listen, officer, he died over there, bro. It's right there, scrubbing. right next to the fucking juju beans. Um, but yeah, so yeah, they you didn't get ghosted. the best hot dogs, bro, at 7-Eleven, though. Uh, I mean, I guess. I, not really. What? Name one time you've had a hot dog and you're like, wow, this is good. Uh, fucking, you know what? Getting an Oscar Mayer and then putting on the grill. All right, bro. Cool. We have another voicemail? Do we? Yeah. Uh, is it going to play this time? Yeah, it's going to play. You ready for it? I'm sure it's going to be. Hi, gente. Anyways, I'm back. Uh, wanted to mention, uh, talking about ghosting again. Um. Hey, I tagged him in, uh, from two of my accounts on IG. Just, and it wasn't, had nothing to do with magic. I was just wearing the pink piggy sweatshirt, which is one of my faves. And I didn't even get a, a you know, and you know, I didn't even want to like, I just wanted maybe like an acknowledgement, you know, from piggy, but no, he just kind of, kind of a diva and it's okay. You know, it hurt me a little bit, but I don't know. Where is Still this? love you guys either way. Danny, uh, your hair makes you look like your sisters are probably really hot and you sell good coke. Just leave it at that. Anyways, I've got to fucking go. I would mention my accounts, but I don't want my dozens of followers to know I'm involved in uh, card deception. That's good. <laughs> Magic. Anyways, I got to go. <laughs> I guarantee you his mom actually goes, what the fuck are you saying? It, I'm looking like at proper English too. I'm not bro. seeing shit here. All right, no fucking pink, nothing tagged here. I don't see shit. So you know what? That's fucking cap. That's some cap. That's all right. I don't fucking trust that. Um, but yeah, the piggy hoodie. I should sell these. these I, I hated these. When I first got it, and then I've I've worn nothing but this for the past. I've washed it. Obviously, I'm not a fucking gross magician. And now I, you have my mom washing your clothes too. I, well, the hoodie. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to wash the hoodie because the hoodie is really hard to wash by hand. Uh, as is anything that's like of that material. If you're washing it by hand, you're fucking doing yourself a disservice. What are you doing? Uh, looking at videos online. What videos? Uh, bitches twerking. Of age, obviously. They're of age. Why are you fucking looking at girls twerking? Because I was going to see show? maybe he tagged us, but he tagged you, and then I got distracted with bitches. So, yo, that's crazy, though, huh? That's some crazy shit. Every show is going to be the last one. Like, every fucking one of these stupid like, fucking shows. Is gonna be the last one because of your fucking retardation. Oh, the audio, yeah, the audio works, man. It's hey, working. the audio was great today, bro. Yeah, phenomenal. It's a fucking thirty two minutes. Of... It, it was literally two seconds, bro. The, the audio was audio. fucking phenomenal. It's fucking audio. That's fucking like hating uh, it my... works. It works. Producer I'm out there skills. talking for no fucking for for ten minutes with no audio. You were, when? Like two videos ago, dude. Stay in the present, bro. Okay. Yeah, Are you fucking right. going to the past? Like, no, I was talking about that. Go to the, stay in the fucking it's present, all, It's my hard dude. to do one thing more than fucking. You asked me to do a, a thing and maybe a little bit extra? You want me to press a button and then look at you? No. Can't do that, I bro. Can't do that. No.
Can't do that, bro. Mm-hmm. C++. Okay. Um, cinematology, Lama Fowl. Fuck, that's fucking great. I don't know. Okay, so that's it. I think uh, we got uh, through everything here. All right, words to look out for. Walmart baddies, green screen. That's it. Yeah, man. That's the entire show. Thank fucking God. It's like dealing with a, a fucking uh, my little brother, essentially. Just hey, hey. Yeah, but a cooler st- version of your little brother. Co- yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll give you that. Same mental frequency. Okay. Yeah, Same. Fair. I mean, hair even. Well, li- well, listen, bro. You say that he's uh, on the spectrum. I think that guy's a warrior. He sees and understands yeah. things that you'll never understand. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. That's okay. Uh, you know what? I'll take that one. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Thank you guys Shout for watching out. this fucking show. I appreciate it, obviously. Uh, we'll keep this up forever, right? <laughs> oh, until you murder me. Until I fucking end up on the Channel 7 News. Um, make sure to do all the things that people do when it comes to videos. It tricks YouTube into thinking that this channel is better than it actually is. When really, I don't even think that. So at least maybe you could fool YouTube. But I don't personally believe that this channel is at least uh, anything of relevance. Uh, but you still watch, which is at least a good thing. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll be here soon. Can I just make a point before we... Your camera's focus has been shit versus my manual focus has been on point on show. You, okay, well, here's what did I tell you before? You, no, no, I'm going to put the, I don't see the box tracking me. The box tracking me right now. Whereas before, I want to have zone autofocus, which is here. Yeah. Literally here. I'm just saying, bro. Times. I'm just saying, bro. My fucking vintage lens. Are you moving? Did you move? Yeah. You haven't moved. I moved. I adjusted my feet. This is here, and that's there. I adjusted my feet. Yeah, but why do you move too much? Because you're doing drugs. Thank you guys for watching. Daniel's a fucking moron. Remember that. And uh, that's it, I guess. I, I was going to say, oh, remember to always, remember to always remember to stay in school, get educated.